page wise mentioning daily boards number one to three, four to nine, ten to eighteen, nineteen to twenty two. See number twenty one. Yes. I'm seeking priority. Okay. okay. Hmm. Earlier also you sought adjournment. Okay, after one week. Fifteen. The question is 16 instead of 15. Please. Versus serial number 22, mentioning on behalf of the appellants. Here, Ms. Shade is not available today. She has filed a leave note with consent of Mr. Parekh. I am requesting for time. Okay. Millers, the interim relief may kindly be extended. The interim relief may kindly be extended. Okay. Oblige me. Already in existence. Please, my lord. Okay. Oblige me. Oh, Twenty fifth of April. Twenty three to twenty eight. Twenty nine to thirty two. This critically our whole partners will take up at three thirty. Can you check whether any reports have come or not? From twenty three to thirty. Thirty three to thirty seven. 38 to 41, 42 to 45, 46, 47 to 53, 54 to 58, 59 to 67. 62. 4. In this matter, Mrs. Pava is appearing. She is not mm. available. In this matter, Mrs. Pava is appearing. Mm. And she is not available to us. She is by leaving. May I request for any other people? This loan, okay. Last time also it was mentioned. It was mentioned. And it was adjourned. Because and if this is 2012 matter. Mm -hmm. More than time. 10 years old. So we'll see to the file and then pass on this. This casual mentioning in old matters is not accepted. Earlier also, there is early on the last occasion also when the matter was listed, you made the same request. So on every date, council cannot send the leave note. Let me take up the matter then. 68 to 72. 72. And you have to be here when the matter is taken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is this your motor matter? This is regarding appointment of the police personnel. And the guidelines of and the property. My Lord, this is both the queries. We are collecting details of all the cadres, how much vacancies are there, how much they build up. Since we are collecting data from all the cadres, some time will be required. How much? Two weeks accommodation be granted. Two weeks. I'll leave it to my ladyship. Mm -hmm. Two, after two weeks, but we will not be granting further time. Because as prayed by Mr. Kritik Parikh, learn AGP appearing for the state respondents, comma, the matter is adjourned for a period of two weeks to comply with the order dated so and so passed by us, comma, making it clear that no further adjournment would be granted. Let them file the reply in advance so that I can go through it. We can. Okay. Please. Okay. Matter be posted on twenty second. Comma. The reply affidavit shall be served upon the learn amicus prior to the date list. Oblige. Okay. 
73 to 77. We got 77. Mm -hmm. Interesting. For an accommodation today, it is in the 234. But Mr. Suparkar, who is leading us, has some difficulty today. He is not in. Okay. And I'm only requesting that from the other side, you don't need a group with general yes. So you inform yes. him? Yes, I've informed him. He has requested that if any date within in the week of 22nd is. 22nd, okay. Fix any date in the week of 22nd. 24. 24. Please, May I request for 25th in that? Hmm? 25th. I am for Mr. Matha. In that case. 2077. 25th. If I mean. I mentioned after confronting Mr. Matha only, but Mr. 25th. 25th is fine. Yes, but. Please, Simple 73. Mary, 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 Hmm. But there is you note by some hmm. matters are there. Hmm? There is you note filed by Mr. Ravindra. Hmm. Hmm. But these matters are coming more than every time the Ravindra are filed in note. And what she must segregate our matters in matter can proceed. Where are your matters? And matters are still PCSA 1552020 to 2021. You want to argue it today? But today, leave note says the so you can one, you can argue yeah. your own case. Leave note is for his case, not for your case. You it. can argue your own. Eighty four to eighty nine. Eighty seven will also. And that I before I have replaced the previous counsel and before today I have filed my appearance. Then requesting for two weeks time to go through the papers about it because I, they have not supplied with the previous council not supplied the copies. I have okay. taken after two of, weeks. Please. 18th of hmm. 90 to 92. Number 90 or not. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Here I am appearing for the original Apple Internet. Uh, the civil application is for a direction. So, uh, in the second half, if the matter is called up, I my colleague would request for some accommodation as there are two partnered matters fixed by other courts. In mm -hmm. case it is called out in the first half? No, not I, not possible in the first half. So then can I request uh, on ninth uh, since there is some urgency uh, on their part? Okay, ninth. Ninth. I mean, if you apply here. Zero ninety two. Hmm. In this matter, we want to priority, but today we have some persons we may request for next week. May request next for... week, okay. Okay. Hmm. 93 to 100. Hmm. You want priority, okay. 97. I'm requesting hmm. for priority. Hmm. Okay. Please. Hundred and one onwards criminal appeal listed up to hundred and forty. Hundred and forty one to forty five. Early hearing request made by Mr. Amar and Bud through online portal. This is the matter of two thousand fifteen. It is covered by our lordship's judgment of that merger group if your lordship is hmm. one matter was left out. Okay. It can be notified on nine. Nine. <laughs> you can make a mention on that day. I will come with the judgment. Mm. Because the prayers are directly mm. similar to the group that you are watching. Mm. <laughs> Daily board, serial number one, learn it, government leader.
There is a delay of 570 days in filing the yes. How many years? More than about two, two years. Almost. How do how do you Achip, as per the application, it's the administrative detail? on the marriage before the learned single judge, the learned single judge has considered only the delay under the section 32 a 4 stamp back yes yes back. it says that proceeding should be initiated within six months now this six, six years, years. Wow. however not sure there were two conveyance the petitioner herein has paid duty only for one conveyance hence 32 the, a 32 a subsection 4 okay can you read? The collector of the district may suomoto or on receipt of information from any source within six years from the date of registration of any instrument referred to in subsection one, not being the instrument upon which an endorsement has been made under section 32 or the instrument in respect of which the proper duty has been determined by him under subsection three, or an instrument executed before the date of the commencement of the Bombay Stamp Duty Act, call for and examine the instrument for the purpose of satisfying himself as to the correctness of the consideration or of the market value of property, which is the subject matter of such instrument and the duty payable thereon. And if on such examination, he has reason to believe that, that the consideration does not approximate to the market value of such property or as the case may be, market value of such property has not been truly or fully set forth in the instrument, he shall proceed as provided in subsection 2 and 3. Hmm. So then what happened? Uh, have you initiated sumoto proceedings yes my lord proceed. after 6 years it was yes. how huh? as in when as and when it comes in the knowledge of the how did you children. come to know and what was the instrument lordship there was two instrument one that was agreement to sell and the other was sale deed now the mm. petitioner has paid same duty only for agreement to sale as sale which was registered then after sale deed was registered on 30th May 2005, but for mm. which he hasn't paid the stamp duty under Section 5. According mm. to the authority, it is also called as the another conveyance. Now, show the stamp act. The, he has paid the entire sale consideration at the time of registration okay. of the agreement or not. The sale consideration was set out yes. in the agreement, right? And the stamp duty he paid on the sale agreement itself. Yes. Right. And on and this agreement was agreement with possession. Right. That is why he was required to pay the stamp duty. Now, if on the same amount which was set out in the agreement, the sale deed is executed, why another set of sale de stamp duty is to be paid? Consider it nice. You how can you consider it as a separate agreement? The sale consideration is same. Yes. On the same sale consideration and another set of code uh, go already stamp duty was already it would amount to unjust enrichment by the state government. State cannot do this. You cannot uh, you cannot uh, ask for unjust enrichment. Now come to this uh, uh, provision under which you are seeking for uh, uh, stamp duty Section on the another on the sale deed. Section five. Description of instrument. Where is the which is the relevant clause under which you are supposed to you can levy stamp duty? Section five was mentioned in the Shoko's notice, my lord. No, no. And there are uh, the schedule articles which would apply the schedule of stamp duty. It says now. Person has to pay the stamp duty on the agreement to sell, which is with possession. Uh, 
Schedule one Prentice convince right. <laughs> These are all not being transferred. Convince not being transferred. Reconstruction of company. Mm -hmm. These. Mm -hmm. Alphabetically settled. May I request my law to prepare you section 39? Section 20, my section 20. Just see section 20 for circuit 2A. Yes, yes. Yes, clause D. Clause D and Explanation. Clause D says convince, no? right? And then for the purpose of this article, so and so, so and so, uh, two Roman two, an amount equal to one percent of true market value of a movable property in the state of Gujarat of the transferred company, provided that where proviso thirty two a shall apply. Such agreement are applicable to convince where subsequently convince is executed in pursuance to the sale agreement and irrevocable. The stamp duty, if already paid and recovered on the agreement to sell, which is deemed to be convinced, shall be adjusted towards the duty levable. This this should be there. Yeah, actually, the company says sale for transfer of property of company. Body. Mm -hmm. But convince me so far as it relates to the scheme for reconstruction of the company. D clause or D. Uska explanation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The concept why I don't look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. concept reconstruction of company. Under which uh, clause this uh, agreement to sell with possession come, falls? Then the test of bill, record, release, security, and settlement. Agreement. You should know. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is set out. Can you work it out? Yeah. It is so. Is it is set out in a way that I'm not getting that loss. Sale and agreement to sell. Sale and agreement to sell with possession and with without possession. That I'm not getting, and I don't know how it is set out. 
Hmm. Hmm. Oil seeds, bullion, oil spices, promoter, developer, advertisement, but uh, immovable property can you look at You can look to this. We'll take it after some time. Do you have any idea? Which clause? Oblige, sir. Uh, the stamp authority, I am practicing stamp duty properly so many. Since okay. Long, okay huh. There are so many judgments in favor of me, sir. The, the, the authority below are considering that as soon as the possession is transferred, the instrument is liable to uh, as soon as well as the section article 20 of the as a convention. The article 20 as a uh, convention. Which clause would apply? Article 20. Bombay Temp Rules. Bombay Temp Act. Article 20. Huh, we are looking to that only. Which A, B, C, D, which would apply? You can look to the book and then show us. Duty which is already paid has to be adjusted. Read which clause are you reading? Hmm. Exactly. Huh? Article 20 is a total answer. No, 20 which clause? There are many clauses uh, of article. There are so many. Uh, please, please, please. Hmm. Which, which clause uh, would apply? I, I, I am reading. We are getting only one clause which is D. And it refers to company, reconstruction of company in relation to, to the scheme of reconstruction of the company. It is not properly there. Mm -hmm. It is but not. Authority is presumed. It is a agreement to sell with or without possession. There is no properly set. There is not. This no, no, is not properly is not set there. out no, in the act. Authority are presuming to possess any transfer. The same duty will be legible. I don't know how they are charging. How do you. Your uh, charging provisions are not set out properly. There should be a clause of agreement to sell with the with possession, without agreement to sell without right. possession, and then sale deed. Otherwise, this explanation to convince that says explanation one. The clause D says if ag at the time of agreement to sell, say the uh, without budget stamp without duty budget. is paid, then the if the sale deed is executed in terms of that agreement. Then pay, that payment should be adjusted here. Now, sir, there are so many. There cannot sir. be any ah, two exactly, exactly. Uh, stamp duty sir, on the same sir, instrument. Yeah, I am. I am giving idea, sir. And it, it is in fact there are in Gujarat Housing Board so many immovable properties are there. People are executing documents of his possession of hundred rupees only because troubling in government duty. Now the stamp authority has issued resolution that every transaction you pay the stamp duty. We have to approach the collector and state made statement ABCD is transfer, DEF is transfer. As the last person, I am ready to pay the stamp duty. There are suppose there are six transactions. We just now paying stamp duty of each transaction. Suppose before 20 years, some each transaction is uh, taken on 100 rupees stamp. Thereafter, 200 rupees stamp. Possession is set out. Only one agreement with possession. It is notarized, not registered. Difficulty of NA, NA is there, non agriculture is there, agriculture is there. So many properties are there. <laughs> but now the stamp duty authorities are taking revenue on this transaction just now, after 40 years. Uh, today, the circular is issued by the authorities. The document maker, if wrong statement is given, the person who makes document, either advocate, must be in central jail. You, you bring the uh, necessary government yes, resolution sir. because in this uh, act, act, we are not finding that. Properly, mm. they have mm. applied mm. Mm. section 39. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but still, but it is to set yeah, And after six years, there is a judgment of people. Oh, that is correct. But even otherwise, uh, on merits also, Merit they could not have charged. Look <laughs> In the instant matter, the... it's a presumed, sir. Hmm. It's a transfer. Just any transfer, you also liable to that. So that because is... otherwise, what what we want, what we want is that uh, this, perfectly. this part should perfectly. also go in the judgment, right. in so that, that also... they may not do it in future. 
please please right <laughs> that is the whole idea now sometime what happens i have 90% amount 10% in pending i want possession remaining amount is not as a salary is in hurry yeah, out of 100 let me give 90 rupees so we transact the property on 90 rupees paying whole stamp duty <laughs> and possession is transferred 10% is pending after 10% they okay. charge stamp duty again. Ah, this is the, okay. We have already paid, sir. <laughs> now, there is no transaction double, sir. There is no transaction double, sir. So, the whole concept of stamp duty is that you you can charge stamp duty on sale consideration. So, one the amount of sale consideration, if it is one transaction, one passing, one time passing of the consideration, you cannot charge stamp duty on double. the uh, twice on the same. Second time, possession is not given. Therefore, it's not about the instrument. It's instrument. about yes. the uh, transaction. Yes. Right. Here. I will avail the appropriate instrument. Besides, Kare, besides right. the inordinate administrative delay in filing the instant appeal and the sumoto proceedings initiated by the collector Besides the issue of collector beyond the period of six months, six years, as against Section 32, Capital A of the into brackets for of the Stamp Act, Gujarat Stamp Act, 1958, comma. Another question crops up for consideration is as to whether the stamp authorities are entitled to levy stamp duty on the sale deed, which has been executed in furtherance of an agreement to sell with possession, comma, when at the time of registration of the agreement to sell, comma, stamp duty on the entire sale consideration was already paid. First off, the question is as to whether the stamp authorities can levy stamp duty twice on the same sale consideration in one transaction, comma, wherein initially agreement to sell in, in one career in one transfer career in the in the transfer career in the trans for transfer of an immovable property comma when sale consideration was paid at the stage of execution of at the stage of registration execution of the agreement to sell and the stamp duty was paid on the entire sale consideration at the time of registration of the said instrument first of all to examine this aspect of the matter call miss ms dot hetal patel learn agp appearing for the state appellants please for in granted adjournment for the day to enable her, her to make preparations as freight put up on the hmm. no no just one week one week next week hmm. charge no Yes. Serial number two. Mr. Vimal Purohit. Turn it down. My lordship has passed. Dispose of the covenant. Please, please the cup.
same order yes please do they are all common empty alignment same order please i'm great dismissed please पेपर में भी आएंगे सीरियल नंबर थ्री लड़ने का फोर्थ हो गया सेम मैटर डिसमिस्ड Sir number four, Mr. R M Parma. Sir M P Nagar, no, P D H N. This is a mega question. Civil application for condos of Gill. One zero four days in filing first appeal. Hmm. I mean, after obtaining the certified copy of the appeal below, he requested the advocate hmm. to file first appeal below. There was some one zero four days delay in filing. First up, hmm? hmm. what is their own merits? Merit below. Hmm. The award is passed against the uh, appellant below. Hmm. Those who those we had not demanded below that prayer is granted. Hmm. No, any objection was taken. In spite of that, where is the award? In his favor, Lord. Where is the award? Today, my Lord. There is a matter of this civil application for mm -hmm. condemnation. Therefore, I have not prepared. What happened? No, no, we don't do this. This may be. We normally condone the delay and hear the matter on merits, or we decide both on merits and delay. What do you? This is a fresh matter. What do you want? You know, I am requesting for Monday only. You have not prepared. Yes. Nikhil okay, has prepared file on counsel for the appellant. The matter is posted on Monday. Can you just to enable him to prepare an argument okay. on the merits? Item number five, learn it. Yes. But should the merit of the case is this wise that the contours of controversy before the learned single judge was that, that the new and impartial land, tenure land can be 
transferred or con given to any other person without a prior. What is the basis of saying that it was a transfer? My, that should my first contention that it is a transfer. Before that, the land was new and impartial time. And we, the, we understand that. What is the basis of saying that it was a transfer? My loss. Because as per the say of the petitioner, my loss, the land was joint land. That mm -hmm. was his father and the person that name is Dolly Ben. Yes. But however, my loss, the land of Dolly Ben's father was only with his, her father's name only. There was no, no joint. No, so it name. was not transferred in the name of her father. Right. She, the initially the land was in the name of father of the person whose name was mutated in the revenue records right there were three persons one was petitioner then suraj bin and dolly bin minus my kindly perish the pedigree at page number 15 ha huh. one 15 and next shall be 150 hmm now the original person name is Mansung by Sada by. Where is pe pedigree? Page number fifteen minus one five. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Now the petitioner has created the picture that the land was originally of Mansung by. Hmm. However, it is not the fact, minus. Okay. The land was with only name of Gamer Bai, who is the son Gamer of Gamer Bai. Yes. Okay. And this Dolly Bain is his daughter. daughter of Gamer Bai. Gamer Bai, yes. Now hmm. the petitioner hearing is the son of Karu Bai, that is Bika Bai. The okay. Last second, day. second set of. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is it? What is the name of the petitioner? Bika Bai. Okay. The son of Karu Bai. So. Whose name was mutated in the revenue record? Kemar Bhai only, minus. And then... Kemar, Kemar Bhai. Yes. The originally land... No, was... no. The, you now in mutation proceeding with... The name of the Bika Bhai is mutated. Bika Bhai is yes. mutated. With and the... during the lifetime of Kemar Bhai or it was recorded in the name of uh, Dolly Bain? After the death of Gamer Bai, the name of the Dolly Bain was mutated in the revenue record. Okay. What about the other person? Mo kya Moji Bain. At that time when Dolly Bain's name was mutated, there may be Moji Bain was not alive. Hence, his okay. daughter's name was mutated. So, okay. after death of Gamer Bai, name of only Dolly Bain was mutated. Yes, ma'am. Where from you can demonstrate that this land was never recorded in the name of Mansung Bai? Minus. I have the revenue record. The only... Original allotment entries, mutation entries. Right? Have you brought it on record of this appeal? No, minus. Before the learned single judge, the reply. Have you filed any counter before the learned single judge? No, minus. That is not filed. Even the petitioner has not bring any record which shows that the. No, no. What is your contention before the learned single judge? You appeared before the learned single judge or not? Yes, Another you filed any reply. You filed. You filed any reply before the learned no, single judge. The reply is not filed. Why? This was 2014 petition decided in 2018. Where is the basis of saying that the land was recorded? That material you have not see. You cannot pass on papers like this. Even my loss, the mutation entry which is bring before my lords by the petitioner itself says so. Mr. Counsel, mutation entry cannot decide the right of the parties. They come out with the case that it was a joint family property and the name of other family members was left out. If my loss may perish the mutation entry at page number 16, how the transfer has taken place? Their case is that this was a land which was joint family property and the name of other co-owners was not recorded. It was recorded in the name of one person only. Now, to, to dispute that aspect, what material you have brought on record of the appeal, this order, these documents you are passing on, we cannot take into but consideration of these documents unless and until you bring something on the record. No, and there, is judge, there any sale consideration? No, my no. Only on affidavit it is said that no, I am relinquishing re my right. He is relinquishing the right in favor of her brother, cousin brother. If my loss were Paris, page number 16. That is the mutation entry by which the right is relinquished and released in favor of the... We petition. are concerned with the original entries. 
original with regards to that no record is brought before the honorable so court. unless and until you bring it before the court that no this land was never recorded in the name of mansuk bhai you can succeed by saying that even if the name of one person was recorded the other heirs of other persons have no claim but then this land has to be in the name of mansuk bhai yes. or what was the contention that it was jointly purchased no ma'am with regards to that only the contention is that that the transfer cannot be done when the land is new tenure and impartial land without the competent authorities permission that is not an answer yes but from the documents itself annex with the petition if my lords were bearing it was a categorical statement of the learned counsel for the petitioner referring to the government resolution but that, that does not apply me. i tell them that it was a joint property of the family how do you dispute this contention if my lords there is no material on record page number 16 may be seen 16 is not the answer my lords were kind that one entry is not going to help you out that is the entry by which the one entry cannot help you out you have to look to the previous entries as well how this land came to this person okay. you say that the name of ghemar bhai was recorded in the revenue records yes, they say that ghemar bhai was not the only owner of the property yes, this property was owned by kanu bhai as well ghemar bhai being as per the say of the their say is that it was property of mansuk bhai ghemar bhai being the eldest son of the family his name was recorded at that point of time but it was a joint family property now the names of those persons which have been who have been left out was later recorded to dispute this fact you have to bring the entries prior to the entry of ghemar bhai not the ghemar bhai was the person to whom land was originally allotted that is my where point. is that material that is not before the so then you cannot this is you bring it before the before us also it is not before us as well yes where have you filed in this appeal where is the document to say that this land was originally allotted to gamer bhai that is not so you don't even say in the appeal in the appeal memo it is said that the land was of gamer bhai was of was of is something else was allotted to gamer bhai was something else so what you are arguing is not borne out from the record Yes. and then you are passing on certain documents so why don't you prepare your appeal in a proper manner what do you want may i request my lords to spare you only page number 6 no i am not looking any page you are not answering the queries of the court why would we look to any page then i will bring before my lords in the form of addition complete record along with an affidavit like the only basis to challenge the order passed by the learned single judge is that the property in question was never recorded in the name of mansuk bhai sada bhai mansung bhai mansung bhai this is sada bhai sada bhai जुडाणी अलॉटेड टू घेमर भाई comma the predecessor interest in interest of dolly dolly bain whose name was recorded at the relevant point of time first of the contention is the contention thus is that the averment in the writ petition that it was a joint family property and the mutation was of one of the co-owners of the property is incorrect first of however these arguments were made during at the bar these arguments made by the learned gp at the bar are not supported by any 
material on record as prayed by Ms. Ms. Keetal Patel and AJP appearing for the state appellant. The matter is posted on date Kartija to enable her to file an affidavit to bring the correct and complete picture of the land in question. May I request mm -hmm. one more? May I request instead of twenty four one more? Okay, first me. Hmm. Serial numbers six and seven, Mr. A. V. Prajapati. Plot uh, six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and sixteen. Mm -hmm. These are the matters wherein the award is not passed. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I received this uh, order. Mm -hmm. 15 or Fifteen also, fifteen is mine. Fifteen is also the same. Sixteen is same, but it is different. But in ten is different. It's mine matter. Ten is not the same. Not ten is different. Leading matter is two zero zero one nine. Yes, two double zero one nine. Look, you connect and put up along with the special civil application number two zero zero one nine of twenty twenty three on the date fixed in. July. The competent authority is required to complete the proceedings as per the directions contained in the aforesaid order. In the order dated career 1 4 2024, passed in the aforesaid petition. Yeah. Date same. Okay. Uh, e karke same date. Kar de. Serial number eight, uh, Mr. Malav Mulani. Serial number eight. Number eight. What right you have in the property? But the plain if a lordships have page 37 onwards, that is the plain one. No, no, we are not looking to the suit. We are asking you what is your the right. The petitioners, the petitioner purchased the land in the year 2000 from the original owners. How? Three, three kacha sale agreements. Kacha what? sale, what is the kacha sale? Kacha sale agreement on a stamp paper of 300 were executed. There is no such concept. Thereafter, Malaj. But Malaj, ultimately, because of the earthquake in the following year, Malaj, the sale deed could not be executed. That is what my condition Then you don't have any right. Even if there is a kacha agreement, you do not have any right to retain possession of the land. You can only execute, uh, have possession of the land when you enter into a sale deed and pay the stamp duty for by stamp getting duty it registered. I have produced the application. The stamp there is nothing on record which would substantiate the claim of the petitioner to have lawful possession of the lands in question. Most of the assertion in the red petition that based on, based on the pleadings made in the civil suit filed by the petitioner here in that the petitioners have entered into a sale agreement with the respondents, respondent complainant on a stamp paper of rupees 300, comma, cannot come to the rescue of the petition. First up, in any case, comma, there cannot be any transfer. And there cannot be any valid transfer of the property without there being a valid conveyance of sale 
and the position of the petitioner therefore cannot be said to be legal first of how paraxin to how the petitioner here and we therefore kare we therefore do not find it a fit case for interference first of how it is noted that the petitioner has approached this court at the stage of preliminary inquiry where in notice dated 11 2 2024 has been issued to him by the mamladar and executive magistrate namely respondent but to hear it first of at this stage comment is open for the petition first of kare it is kept open it is thus kept open for the petitioner to submit a reply to the notice and make his contentions before the competent authority with the above observation it is made clear that the competent authority shall be under obligation to deal with the matter independently without being influenced by any of the observations made here in above subject to the above comma the petition stands dismissed only only one respect the civil court may also not be influenced because my civil suit is pending very it goes without saying that any observation made here in above cannot have any bearing in the pending civil proceeding please obligation number 9 mr kaushal shah is file sick note satul sharma record the sick note and fix the date in the next week 9 Okay. So that has to be considered for as any land. Without uh, that, my lord. So that even if the nature of the land is converted, it will ha have no bearing on the objections about the utilization of land for construction of national highway. At the most, at the time of submission of claim, you can put up your claim that this land was converted. Into any prior to section three a, and you are entitled for half compensation. Your lordship is absolutely right, but annex chair a kindly be seen. Annex chair page eleven. What difficulty is that, my lord? Initially, two sixty five number number survey number two sixty five was shown, and the compensation was paid to uh, the owner of two is two sixty five. Thereafter, how, they how came, compensation paid? They... How compensation paid? Abhi? Yes, my lord. Three D yeah. is. 3D is only 63. When? 5 to 11, 22, 24. Yes. Before, line. before section 3D. No, after. After. He says 3D <laughs> is 63 to 2024. In, in a minute, 260. Mr. Counsel, please give us the please. correct. This award. Time. Award was passed when? In a minute. It is not uh, for 3. It is notice after 3D. Three days, ten to twenty twenty four. Award is five to twenty twenty four. 
award as per 3A. Yeah, yeah, what's that? Pi 2 award is that as per 3A? As per 3A. Yeah, that's as per 3A. That's as per 3A. Land is listed in 3D. Yes, ma'am. is also issued, award is also passed. The award was passed for the survey number 265. Mm -hmm. But initially when the award was passed, mm -hmm. yeah, it was in the name of survey number 265. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, there was a change uh, because 265 was not in possession. Actually, 262 survey number, my survey number was there. Instead of that, some other survey number was shown as 265 and award has came. Mr. Council, 262 Please. was never part of acquisition. Yes, initially. It, ini was, it was never part of yes. acquisition. So how could you file any objection? In a minute. Initially, 265. Mr. Council, I'm I, mean, not I may just convince you a lot. Please. I'm not concerned with initially. What was the number which was indicated in 3A and 3D? Not that is relevant. 3A, therefore... Initially 265. Don't say initially. Section for, 3A was what was the number? That is that is a, I have annex of my survey number. Mr. Kaun, notification. 3A, what was the number of acquired land? 262. 3A. Yes, 3A. Where is 3A please, notification? Please, George. <clears throat> Page number. 13. This is 3A. And your Lordship may kindly see yes, my survey. Just number. a minute. No, it was 262. Yes, this is my survey number. Okay, then what happened? Now, my Lord, thereafter, we have lodged objections right. that up before this notification, there is a land 4,000 square meter out of the, uh, the land which has been acquired, which is already converted into any land before 3A. Please, yeah, don't, uh, don't mix up the issues. We are only concerned with 3A, 3D at present. Please, George. Can you give us the uh, correct picture without telling any other story? Lord, you are giving us stories. Please. We are not going by stories. What was the land which was shown in section 3D notification? Just a minute. Where is 3D? Please, George. Page number 36. Now, this number 517. Oh, now see page 13 and 36. You cannot correlate them. They Survey are number is same. No, Mr. Counsel. This 336 uh, is in continuance of 3A notification, which is 517, dated 5 to 2024. Right? Right. And the notification, which is at page 13, is 517 a a so these are two different notification of the same date so cd is of 11th march 2024 mr please please page 13 is 3a notification which is 5th february 2024 please. right the number of this notification is 517A, dated 5th February 2024. Please, Right. In the notification, which is at page 36. Please, the This is in reference to section 3A notification. Please, Three Here, 3A number is 517, dated 5 to 2024. <coughs> A is missing. R is missing. Lord Shubha, can you see? Uh, R is missing. 517R is missing. A, A. Yes. Otherwise, 517 is there. Third line. Third line of the notification. Okay. 
Okay. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. In the English version is correct. Yes, ma'am. Page 38. Okay. 3D was issued 262. Yes, ma'am. For same. Huh. 262 is. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then. <clears throat> Our submission is the date is 11th March. Please. Okay. Then what happened? Our submission and uh, objections before lodge before the authority is that before issuing this notifications, uh, our 4,000 square meter land is already converted into NA land. Therefore, that may that be considered. Not, that is immaterial. This land was supposed to be acquired. You will get compensation for non agricultural land. If it is converted prior to section 3A and 3D. Therefore, your lordship may kindly say page number this, this is not a consideration at this stage. Authority cannot only, look to the nature of the land at this stage. Only request. Page number 11. You can put up your objections. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, objections, how they have rejected, my lord. No, that is I want to show, this, my lord. This objection is only mm -hmm. confined to the usage of the land. Lord. It is not about the nature of the land. Your lordship is, is absolutely right. but no... It has this is an objection under section 3C. Please read 3C. Please read. Object to the use of the land for the purpose or purposes mentioned in that subsection. This is the this is the limited scope of this objection. Our our difficulty is Lordship and Galicia. <laughs> Your Lordship is right. Only thing is Lordship and Galicia annex area. And actually, see, how Mr. There, Council, uh, see, Mr. Council, the okay. nature of the land or the compensation to which you are entitled, whether the NA permission was rightly granted or not, whether it was valid, all these issues are not at this stage to be seen. Please, so, whatever is the order passed, that should not come in your way. Lord Chief, I see, apart from this, apart from then, what is left there apart is one, from uh, this? There is one, one issue left, my lord. <laughs> lord Chief, I see. This means. what has been said in the order impugned in, in a minute. Why this happened? Because what has been said in the order impugned? Please, your lordship. What causes it has been prejudice? stated? What that, causes prejudice to you? Please, your lordship. Some it has been stated that some sampadak sanstana abhi prime or the the, the or as per the opinion of the authority as well as non agricultural ma, uh, uh, that measurement sheet is not produced now. This measurement sheet was produced. Uh, yeah. The petitioner here in seeks to challenge the order. In a minute. Dated sir. six. In, in a minute. Eight. In a minute. In a minute, your lordship. Please listen to our order. Uh, we have heard you. Dikhe ga. The petitioner here in seeks to challenge the order <coughs> dated 6 3 2024, passed by the competent authority. In an acquisition proceeding under Section 3C of the National Highways Act 1956. First off, in the acquisition proceedings initiated under the National Highways Act 1956, comma, the notification dated 5 2 2024 has been issued under Section 3A. And the objections, and after inviting, after deciding objections of the landholders, comma, as per section three, capital C, comma, the note, the declaration notification under section three D, has been published on 11 3 2024. First off, there is no dispute about these two factual positions. Brought forth on the record, uh, discerned from the record. First of para change bill. The challenge in challenge to the order of rejection of the presentation slash objection filed by the petitioner under section three C, dated six three two thousand twenty four is on the ground that at the time of 
rejection of objection prior to career, prior to rejection of objection filed by the petitioner comma a fresh measurement sheet was not got prepared from the office of the DILR. First of the objections filed by the petition has been rejected only on the ground that the petition, only on the basis of opinion of the acquiring body and on the premise that the petitioner did not submit the measurement sheet yeah. of the land in question. First stop, para change bill. There's nothing has been brought before us to demonstrate as to how the petitioner got prejudiced. And that petitioner is prejudiced by the order impugned. First of the fact remains that the scope of consider scope of objection under section 3C of the National Heights 3C of the National Highways Act is confined to the objection to the use of the land for the purpose mentioned in the acquisition notification under subsection 1, published under subsection 1 of section 3 capital A of the National Highways Act. First of Paragins. The nothing has been brought before us as to how and why the land in question cannot be used or is not feasible to be used for the purposes of acquisition, i.e. for for widening for buildings brackets widening slash four lane with paved shoulder slash six laning etc brackets career maintenance common management and operation of NH 754 capital K in the stretch of land from so and so you can take from page 14 brackets would in the district of Parton in the state of Gurgaon comma as indicated in the acquisition notification dated 5th February 2024 published under section 3a brackets 1 of the act 1956 post of parachange however it goes without saying that any dispute pertaining to determination of compensation of the land in question on the premise that the petitioner got it converted into non-agricultural purposes prior to the initiation of the acquisition proceedings can only be looked into in an appropriate proceedings to be drawn by the petitioner. Only, only. In accordance with the provisions, provisions of Section 3G, brackets 5, comma, in as much as the award dated, what is the date of the award? In our Six case, three. there is no award. In our in case, there is no award. Card. Under section 3G, five card. no 5. Five. Under section 3G of the... If my lord can give me a minute only. Initially, 265 was there shown in the map. We are not therefore, giving you so much of time because we will be confused. <laughs> therefore, 262 was, my lord, uh, order to be, uh, my lord, uh, placed in, in, in place of 265. Now, 262 is there. My, from my land, it is acquired. Therefore, measurement sheet is required to be prepared fast. That was my prayer. Unless that is prepared, nobody will know that how much land uh, gone into the uh, Mr. Mr. Council, the Once the acquisition notification records the number of your land and the area, then there is no question of measurement sheet of preparation. The preparation was already done at the time when acquisition notification was published. That was right. for 265, not for 262. That Sir, is our permission, Sir, Lord. The if your Lord will see this map, it will be clear. Notification is the final authority. Please, Lord. Award is with respect to 262. 262. Then. Award is not passed. Yet it is notifications it is are issued. 
It award is passed for 265 for which they have already paid the amount of compensation. Now they realize that 262 is there. Now so for 262... You don't say is... this in the red petition that for your land award has not been declared, not a single sentence. You are challenging order under section 3C. You are not saying anything beyond that. I have stated that what I am challenging. Lord. No, you have not said anything. Please see. Whatever Lord you are sir. arguing is nothing. Lord, see, I kindly see. My prayer may kindly see. It is very Please, clear. Please, Mr. Counsel. Please try to understand. Please, Lord. You are not challenging the award saying no. you are not. You are not saying that no award has been passed. There is some confusion with regard to measurement. Yes. Or you Kindly see my prayer, it will be clear, my lord. Please, I have Mr. not Counsel, said that I am challenging them. It cannot them. be clear, clear like this. Because there is no award at all in my case, my lord. Lord, see my kindly... I may just... You in, just show us a single line in the red petition where you have said that there is no award with respect to 262, though it has been acquired. No, Lord. So show us the line in the red petition lord, statement. In a minute, there was no question of stating before this lower court that the award is passed. The, we are at notification award stage. Not passed. Award not is not passed. passed. This statement should borne out from the record. But when where is the record? When the, where is the statement in the red petition? Where, when there is a notification is going on, Lord, notification 3D is issued, and thereafter the award is to be passed. In my they case, there is no question. It. They will pass the award. Then the, we take it like this. So only, only. Di only difficulty is that instead of 265, now 262, my number is there. Mr. Therefore, measurement is to be prepared. Mr. 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 Counsel, please don't create this kind of situation. We know please. how the, the this is prepared. Maybe at the time of proposal, there was some mistake in the measurement yes. sheet. But after 3A and 3D, everything is set out. Now there is acquisition of 262. Yes, ma'am. If you are owner of 262, they will pass an award. If they are not passing an award, then you must state. But for that measurement is to be uh, done they fresh. They do it. Why, why, why do we preempt the whole because issue? Because my survey number is dragging though. Because why, why, do, why do we, you are not challenging notifications. Notification. Then, 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 then how can you say that there was a proposal for 265? Now they have acquired my land. You cannot argue this my simple, without challenging the my notification. My prayer was, I have made a prayer only to the uh, direct. We are not the a single sentence beyond what we have stated. We are not creating the confusion which you are trying to create. I, 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 I will be the last person to create this confusion, Lord. Only thing is that I Please, have prayed. We are, we, now now we, we cannot, uh, well, no, uh, Anyways, cannot any, permit you to argue. Anyways, since your Lordship has passed an order, on, I will. Only thing is that I have... Uh, the Please, don't repeat that again and again. Not a single sentence is made out from the record. We understand what you are trying to say. You are trying to say that they have measured 3, 265, yes. prepared measurement sheet and acquired 265. That is our prayer. That you can only argue when you are challenging notifications. You are that's not challenging acquisition notifications. notifications so you cannot argue this. Hmm. Only request is that if your Lord can. We are not uh, saying a single thing. While hearing beyond the, what we have said. Only thing is while hearing or passing the award, my Lord, they may consider my. They, we are not saying the uh, the award authorities cannot look to the validity of the notification while making the award. That chapter is over now. Please. With this is what your objections were. Those objections once rejected. Please. Then everything comes to an end. Now it cannot be left open. And that is why the first question I asked that the only objection which you can take is about take is about the usage. That objection you have not taken. That, that was not and then you are not challenging acquisition notifications. Yes. Then this chapter has to come to an end now. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Clear. Acquisition is the beginning of the acquisition. We say yes, and we need to be the green and a kind of mention of sheep. Sport to try and make up.
Application under section 28A has been rejected on the ground of delay. Yes, ladyships, but I am covered by the judgment of Honorable the Apex Court. If I can point out to the Honorable Court straight away that order of Honorable Apex Court, it is at page can number 68. Can you give us the facts of the case without placing the judgment of the Apex Court? No, no, ladyships, we, the facts of the case apply, are... We have to apply judgment of the Apex Court in the facts of the case. You uh, have not even addressed the, on the facts of your case. Uh, ladyships, I have annexed the, the application that I had submitted for redetermination. Can you give us the dates on which you have filed application and what is the date of reference yes, and why ladyships. there is a delay? Those, those details I may provide. Uh, ladyships may turn to page number 19. Hmm. This is the date of award under section 11. It is what dated is the date? 29 8 2001. That is not relevant. The date. No, no, I'm just relevant. in the chronological order please, taking the honorable Mr. court Counselor, to relevant. Please part. come straight away. This is 28A. Yes. Please come straight away to the reference court award. That is at page number 34. Can you give us the date? Uh, it is 2 11 2018. 2 11. Yes. 2nd of November 2018. Reference court award. Now, what came is to the date passed. of filing of application under section 28A? Uh, ladyships, it was filed on 3 3 2022. What explanation you have given? Uh, ladyships, I have if given the, the explanation. Time period, time period under section 28 is? Uh, uh, ladyships, uh, the given time period uh, you know, uh, within six weeks of the receipt of the notice from collector, ladyships. No, no. 28A, Mr. Counsel, you are, you are reading section 18. We are talking about 28A. You were not there. Go. It, you have not filed any reference. Ladyships, I have not filed the reference. So, uh, this is section 28A. Can you read section 28A? Uh, 28A reads that where an award under this part, uh, the court allows an application any amount of compensation in excess of the amount awarded by the collector under section 11, the person interested in all the other land covered by the same notification under section 4, subsection so 1. months from the date of the reference court award. Yes, ladyship. It right. is three months from the so date the, of... So, delay is about two years. Yes, ladyship. More than two years. But I have given the explanation to... Four years. Four years, sorry. Three and a half years. I have given the explanation what also. What is the explanation you have offered? Ladyships, my explanation I have offered is at page number 15. I have offered the explanation that I was not aware about the passage of this order. And uh, it is uh, my father who had died. He was the original occupant. And as soon as I came to know about passage of this award, uh, I have immediately filed the application. Raise your application. Under, uh, ladyships, Raise my your applic application. Yes, uh, it is, uh, ladyships, at NX B in a moment. It is at page number 12. Page 12. Page number 12 is my application and thereafter I have separately filed also an application for condonation of delay. It is at page number 15. Now what is the reasoning given by the uh, it is it, It's one paragraph order and as such reasoning is one-liner one reasoning. Ke aap, uh, it is at page number 11 which is impugned. Kalam ik he says that he cannot condone the delay of uh, beyond three months. Now, yes, where is the judgment of the Supreme Court which you are relying upon? 68, page number 68. What does it say? Uh, ladyships, it says, if court may turn to page number 68, Court says that we are of the view that even though the limitation pres period prescribed uh, is prescribed and it is expected that the aggrieved party takes remedies within such prescribed time, delay can be extended in appropriate cases subject to declining the interest for the delayed period. The compensation mm -hmm. can be redetermined and paid to the appellants. Mm -hmm. So, ladyships, I will restrict my prayer for get getting the compensation for the period where I am in a delay. In any, any of the paragraphs of the affidavit or the repetition, you state that 
this reference court award has attained finality uh leadership sir to my knowledge it has attained finality but my pleadings would be silent because this is just uh, the, i have come to know about it yes. but it can be inquired Twentieth October two thousand twenty-two, and this petition is filed after a period of two years. No, ladyship. As a matter of fact, court may turn to page number sixty-six. Then you will say that you were not communicated of this order. But that is the reason why I filed a previous round of litigation. This is ordered by my ladyship, my lord only. You you seek instructions. Where have you stated that this order was not communicated to you? Yes, ladyship. I already said. If I I can point out to the honourable court. Where have you you have filed this red petition in the month of March twenty twenty four? Where is the explanation to the latches? Page number six may be seen. Page number Page six para para two point eleven. The applicants paragraph. under a bona fide belief that the application under twenty eight A was not decided. The present petitioner. Uh, then you you remain quiet for two years, and then you say that you made inquiry on one day. When have you made inquiry? What is the date? Leadership. This is a wholly misconceived petition. Leadership. I may just point out to the on the suffering board. from inordinate, in unexplained latches on the part of the petitioner. Here in in approaching this court after a period of more than one and a half years. But ladyships, oh. I have provided an explanation. Just ladyships' Rejection order may be seen. It is dated twenty nine eleven two thousand twenty three. Rejection of the application under section twenty eight capital A of the Land Acquisition Act. First of the order impugned is dated twenty ten twenty twenty two. First of while explaining latches. Comma in paragraph two point attention of the court is invited to paragraph two point one one and two point one two and two point one three also and two point one three comma which reads read as under Kolandash court the it may further be noted that there is an in or that the career that application section two under section twenty eight a. Itself was filed after a period of three and a half years, comma, to seek parity under the reference court award dated two eleven, two thousand eighteen. First up, on the query made by the court, comma, about the delay in approaching the competent authority under section. Twenty-eight A of the Land Acquisition Act, eighteen ninety-four, comma. It is submitted by Land Council for the petitioner that the petitioner was not aware of the proceedings of reference court award, and his father, and after death of his father, who was the original owner of the land in question, and in whose favor, comma. The award, dated twenty ninth eight twenty nine eight two thousand one was passed. Comma. The petition. Oh, the reference and, award of. Please, please. I'm sorry. Please don't don't interrupt. I'm sorry. Yeah, was passed. Comma. The petition approached the competent authority for seeking determination of compensation. As per the reference court award dated two eleven two thousand eighteen. First off, the learned counsel for the petitioner has further invited the attention of the court to the judgment and order dated twenty seven ten two thousand seventeen passed by the apex court in civil appeal number one seven three two three of two thousand seventeen, comma. Wherein the apex court has dealt with the situation, with the matter, Kare, with the matter where competent authority has rejected the application under Section Twenty Eight A on the ground of delay. First off, the observation made by the apex court that though that even though limitation is prescribed, comma 
and it is expected that the aggrieved party takes remedies within such prescribed time, comma. The delay can be extended in appropriate cases, comma, subject to declining interest for the delayed period, and, and subject to declining the interest for the delayed period, comma, the compensation can be redetermined and paid to the claimant, comma, is sought to be pressed into service to assert that mere delay in filing the application under Section 28, capital A, cannot be a reason to deny compensation, comma, paid to similarly situated persons in the reference court award dated 2-11-2018. First off, Parachin's group, testing this submission of land counsel for the petitioners that Comma. Suffice it to note that the petitioner herein is, has not been able to explain the delay in approaching the competent authority by invoking the provisions of Section 28A, comma, in as much as, comma, as per own case of the petitioner, comma, his father, who was the original owner, did not file any application during his lifetime. The date of death of the original owner has not been brought on record. Post of besides delay of three and a half years. He died on 5-4-2021. It is on record. 20? 5-4-2021. It is at page number okay, 15. The, the date of death of the father of the petitioner, namely the original owner, is stated to be 5-4-2021. 5-4-2021. And thereafter, there was corona pandemic. That is also the explanation I have provided. Besides the delay, besides the delay of three and a half years in approaching the competent authority in filing application under Section 28A, comma, the petitioner has not been able to successfully explain the latches of more than one and a half years in approaching this court. First of the explanation offered by the petitioner that the petitioner was under belief of pendency of his application is unacceptable. First of a litigant who seeks to explain the latches or limitation has to show and has to establish that he was vigilant about the litigation initiated by him before the competent authority slash court of law. First of a person who slept over his right for a period of one and a half years without any proper explanation, merely on the ground that he did not pursue the application in application filed by him cannot be said to be sufficient explanation. Ladyships, so can I interrupt for a moment? A humble please prayer. To, please don't interrupt. You can speak when the, the dictation is over. Ladyships. This is not proper. Cannot be said to be sufficient explanation so as, so as to grant, so as to treat it as an appropriate case comma, being covered by the decision of the Apex Court dated 27th October in Karega, in Karam Chand brackets dead, comma, bracket supra, post of para change bill. For the above noted reasons, comma, we are of the considered opinion that the petition was never vigilant about his right and has not been a, a, about the litigation career with the petitioner being a litigant who was not vigilant about the litigation instituted by him cannot seek indulgence from this court first off for the inordinate latches on the part of the petition 
for uh, for of about a period of one and a half years, comma. This court does not find it a fit case to entertain. The repetition is accordingly dismissed. Yes. Ladyship said page number sixty-seven. My ladyship themselves have granted me the liberty. Permission is granted to withdraw the petition as petitioner proposes to challenge the order of rejection application. Ladyship, then after twenty-three, eleven twenty-three. Ladyship, I was facing same financial after, difficulty. Again, For that, months. I have annexed that parent again after 30. three months. Ladyship, only a delay of three months. Explanation is provided at pay para two point twenty two point thirteen. It's not. It's not four months. What you did is that since there was latches, so initially you came with an application petition that my application has not been decided, and but, then you came here. This is how you proceed. I was not aware. I I leave it to the honourable court, but I was genuinely brought, not aware about the. You passage brought anything on record. to indicate that you have uh, ever approached the authority by writing a letter that my application has not been decided since the date of filing of it ladyships can i can i inquire to that effect instead of my ladyships rejecting this let me just see if any communication is there because it will be substantial uh, see, you were required to explain the latches mr counsel ladyships i have explained in para 2.11 to 2.30 that is not, is not convinced i understand that is not sufficient so at least for to to establish the sufficiency can one day time be granted ah uh, yes we can do that so this order will remain as it is if, if i can bring any anything case. material on record then court may change their mind otherwise this order may be passed right so court may keep it on monday or tomorrow whenever convenient tomorrow ladyships i will take necessary instructions if at all i can establish something i am mm. obliged ladyships obliged obliged Here, number seventeen to nineteen, learned advocate general with learned AGT. This is about that policy, my lord. On last occasion, my lord, there were four suggestions, my lord. One was, my lord, with reference to incorporating the time limit, so far as below the concerned department is concerned. Number one, similar time limit so far as legal department is concerned. Number three, my lord, we should also incorporate, my lord, the rules requirement that the government law officer should see that within one week's time that goes. 
and the fourth was my lord the honorable the chief justice my lord uh, conveyed that let law minister be not involved in that committee my lord my lord so far as initial three aspects are concerned my lord we have got through about my lord whether law minister should be there or not chief secretary says my lord uh, i need uh, somebody with a law background <laughs> so that back and forth is going on my lord upon as i No, I quite see, and availability is also, you know, at times a problem. I, I, I quite see. So. You know, in the original draft, you know, we have added ten double A now. No, my lord. No. An idea about. Yes, sir. I I quite see. I quite see. I quite see. And when the honourable minister is travelling, you know, many times meeting, and then here your, your work is day to day work. Then what would happen that you will then explain the delay by saying that law minister was not available? So it was awaiting for the <laughs> decision of the committee. <laughs> then there see. would be another administrative yes, delay. Yes. So that I'll be requiring some time to see that will not need full is the Lord done. But uh, those three aspects, initial and three otherwise, aspects. Otherwise, for when you are saying that you need someone well conversant with laws, then you have legal secretaries for that. Is that? Is that? So legal secretary, then chief secretaries. So idea, idea chief was secretaries to see that are law. supposed to know the law. Not to prevail law. Normally, so we are. Though they are executive officers, but they are. So, so what happens, below The non-legal person always, below is prone to accepting. Let's go in appeal. When the law minister and the legal secretary are there, they can at least take control of the situation. If the legal department is opined that is not you going. You think we have no? No, I followed. I, I difficulty quite see. in accepting this, but we think that it is unworkable. I follow. I follow. I follow. Unless and until there is really a policy decision, some some security of the state, something which is I necessarily guess. to be brought to the notice of the law minister. He's supposed to head the meeting. Then there is a, is a different but complexion. The law minister for routine litigation matters would be like no, I, I need to, the whole policy. No, I, I quite see. I, I'll convey once again, Milo. I need to see that all heads get together, Milo. Mm -hmm. Because you know, he, he uh, either the chief secretary is uh, trying to avoid his own responsibility. No, but he is very he much. He wants to shift the responsibility. No, he's not like that. Mm -hmm. He is he, uh, very much available. Mm -hmm. No, no. See, if you are not the chairperson, then you can always shift the yes. responsibility on the chairperson. <laughs> 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 but anything you do, you can always say, what do we do? When you become a chairperson, then you are responsible. Mm -hmm. You have to it take a call. You are responsible. It may not be liked by everyone. You, and you then logistically call. also, it would be really unworkable. You know, I'll, I'll see that, Milord. I once again, Milord. Uh, and you can always add a clause that in case of any policy issues, any kind of issues which require attention of the law minister, he will necessarily be in the committee. committee. That clause, one line can be I quite see. taking care of all issues. So let me have some time, Milo. The bothering law minister to file LPA in the high court would be too much. <laughs> no, I, I quite see. I quite see the concern of the Honorable Congress. So we are not saying anything, but we no, expect it... that this will be done at, at an earlier pace. Yes, sir. So that, uh, like, it's nothing but put the, uh, an effort to put the house in order. Yes, yes. I, I quite see. Because no, in no. many of the matters we are seeing that on very casually the matters are being filed. So now, you know, we have, we have seen that responsibility is assigned. Even so... one of the matters which came before us today, we see, we are of the view that there is not even a single semblance of merit in the matter. And then it is filed up beyond 1,000 and odd days. And then the, the matter was that agreement to sell was executed with possession. 
it is a registered agreement. Entire sale consideration is paid at the time of registration and the stamp duty. And then thereafter, in continuance of that agreement, a conveyance was, was executed, which is sale deed. It was registered. No sale deed, no stamp duty was charged on the sale deed. After more than six years, collector exercised so motto power, take out the matter from the dug, and then he says that since there were two instruments, so therefore to... stamp duty is to be paid on the second instrument. Second also. instrument also. So whether on one consideration for one transaction, okay, then... one immovable property, there can be two set of stamp duty. So this requires application of mind by someone. I quite so. I quite so. Listen, many a times, you know, genuine cases suffer because of the delay. Because of this. Yes, yes. Because, and then you are flooding us. And then you are bothering us unnecessarily for one or two pages order or one or two dates. No, I, I, I fully State appreciate it. State cannot do this. No, certainly not. Certainly not. We need to, my lord, uh, assign the time limits and person must work. And if they exceed the time limit, they and must when, give the explanation. When you are saying that there has to be application of mind, it should be real application of mind. That's right. So now we have provided, my lord, that, you know, 15 days for the concern department, 15 days for the legal department, and then uh, uh, things should be taken care of. So we are keeping it after one week? No, two weeks, below. Two weeks would be? 24th. 22nd or 23rd, my lord? 23rd? Today is, today is? Four. Okay. So, fourth, eighteenth. Well, eighteenth. Lodge. As prayed, as prayed by the learned advocate general, the matter is posted on it. Great. Peremptorily fixed matter, serial number 58 to 63, Shalin Mehta Leonard, Senior Okay, Mr. Vyas, Mr. Mehul. 58 to 63, okay. Mehul Shah Leonard, Senior Okay, Mr. Truthi Joja. The issue concerning execution and the partnership act, Mr. Lord, 55. Good will. What happened? We have filed under. We have filed under. We have to file affidavits. We have Yes. So we have filed an affidavit for payment. We have to make payment within one month. The balance payment, the entire payment. And they have to file an affidavit. Second, second. Have you filed a affidavit? Yes, yes, yes. We have filed. We have filed. Both, part, both each sides. Each part both has filed. <laughs> Along with the calculation of interest bill rate. I'm not 34 in the So, let this affidavit be transmitted to the executing court. And executing court can decide the matter on the basis of the affidavits. See that the decree award is executed. Can I? Well, not fair, well, not. Uh, can I just well, not indicate two things, you know? Uh, well, not, as far as we are concerned, we have mentioned that we will pay the entire balance amount uh, within one month, provided they don't do this and whatever. I mean, because since the goodwill is sold, obviously, you know, they can't use the goodwill. Now, uh, well, not, there is some difference in the calculation about two crores and all. There is a difference, but I will go. We by are it. not doing it. I'll yes, yes, yes. Let the, Actually, if, the court can, if the court does it best, not, otherwise, not even, I can even go by what they say, but very well, the, the court can do it. Now, not, two things. Not, what they have done is not, they have filed an affidavit, but reproduced section 55. Hmm. 55 mentions one, two, and three. Hmm. Not, there, may I, may I only indicate one thing, not, because uh, hmm. if the court comes to, because not, ultimately, this is goodwill. Hmm. Their understanding of goodwill. 
their understanding of goodwill is encapsulated in the award itself issue number 9 where the court where the arbitrator says you know that the claimants have asserted in the claim statement that the value of the goodwill is based on what so their understanding of goodwill hmm? my you know, you know, again uh, what they have done is you know, that they have filed an affidavit and uh, reproduced the entire section that we will not do this we will not do this we will not hmm. do this hmm. fair obviously you can't do this. the section hmm. is the section is clear hmm. but you not know, our submission is you not know, appeal to the court you know, that ultimately this is sale of goodwill goodwill means something there are judgments even supreme court has said that what is the meaning of goodwill their understanding i am saying that their understanding of goodwill is mentioned by the arbitrator in the award in para number in issue number 9 now not at least their affidavit should say that their understanding of the goodwill which the arbitrator has mentioned will not that they will not will not uh, take advantage of oh, what that. has been mentioned by the exactly. so will not may i request the court to go to this only one page not uh, 0.28 final award because there they can't have you know any objection it is their understanding which is reproduced by the arbitrator in the award z z uh, upon issue number 9 0.28 16 0.28 mm. you are talking about award final yes award. yes final award final award and on page section upon... para wo oh, para 9 Exactly. Issue. Uh, right. It's para eight. Issue number nine. We are at page fifty-seven. It is typed copy. Oh. Original copy. Issue number nine. Issue number nine. Para eight. Ah. Yes. 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 The okay. issue relates to goodwill of the partnership firm in question. Okay. The claimants have asserted that is them. So para eight. Yes. You are referring to para eight. Yes, para eight. Exactly. Ah. Issue number nine. Para eight. the claimants have asserted in the claim statement that the value of goodwill of the partnership in question can be determined on the basis of the following factors 10 years profit qualified vendor registration patents and trademarks important various licenses approvals like isi bis ul lloyds etc so patents and trademarks it is their understanding it's a part of goodwill now what they have done here milot they are mentioning that i will not use the name new age industries but industries is a gen, it's it's like private limited company public limited company so you can't they are not clearly saying that i will not use the new uh, word name uh, the name new age new age the the partnership firm what is see yes the goodwill is of the then partnership firm exactly yes. right exactly. now the act says provision says yes. that they, they will not use the name of the firm yes. correct so they they cannot say that they will not use the word new age no they are that see they are saying that they, they... no they say that they will not use the name of the firm and the name of the firm they have written in the affidavit yes which is correct yes right if you want to claim any kind of patent or anything yes. that then for good. that purpose there would that would be a completely different cause of action no good will good no that good will they have already filed no. please yes. So far as Section fifty five is Correct. concerned, yes, sir. Again, it does not talk about any patent or anything, right? Uh, can I? Would will probably see, die. Is, this is only does. see. Yes. This is only a hypothetical assertion. Then paragraph fifty six, whatever factors are mentioned in paragraphs fifty yes. six, they are hypothetical. Yes, there is no adjudication that what oh. would be the amount for patent. or right. there is no adjudication right. that this would be they are not entitled to use this word because it is patent of your no it's not valued the goodwill, the goodwill is valued it can't be but their no no their own charity accountants report it's they have not used. patent or trademark no no ip are not intellectual property rights are so then that issue you can see it's it's and please it's it, can, it, it, it can be only say no, that they will yeah. once they have purchased we have purchased the goodwill They will not use goodwill. Ah, they no, will not they use can, goodwill. They can. They should say that much. No? If we have they purchased, they use the goodwill Mr. because we are we are purchasing Mr. the goodwill. Mr. Counsel, yes. Whatever be the interpretation of this, that is not possible for the executing court to do. Neither we can do this. If your argument is this, that this would uh, this would also include the word new age, which is otherwise a generic word. They can use that word. Unless and until you are able to, Peter, you are able to establish that this would be a pay, come within the meaning of yes. IPR. There is for that. There is a for that you draw a suit or proceeding. But 
their yeah, own executing safe, court cannot the, decide this. They had submitted report of the chartered accountant before the, the wherein they have mentioned this. Chartered accountant. Their own, their own chartered accountant. But the court wanted resolution of all the issues. Mr. That is what we want. That issue which is that. not perceivable, which is not adjudicable, we cannot decide that issue. That issue is not before us. Only thing, only, we are not, you know, See, we are not there doing... is no issue about the patent or trademark before us. No, 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 we... I am only saying goodwill. Be not. Be not their understanding. So, goodwill, not, so the the goodwill, can... goodwill is ah. in terms of, see, whatever yes. prohibited in section 55, yes. they have given that. Yes. Once you, we are, we are required to see the effect of section 55 only. Correct. Section 55 do doesn't talk of patent or uh, Trade. Any trademark, but it talks about I agree, you know, but it talks about goodwill, you know. So, goodwill, and then the section subsection two clearly says, Yes, sir. as to what cannot be done, correct. And they have given their undertaking to that aspect, but correct. Beyond so, that, that, beyond that, we cannot uh, do anything. Sorry, but, but, but is the quote with me on the point you know, that section 55 talks about goodwill? No, it is section, section yes. 55 talks about good, goodwill, correct, and it, it is in two parts. Hmm. It also talks about the sale of goodwill and then effect of sale of goodwill. Correct. So, so far as the effect of sale of goodwill, there are three effects, yes. A, B, and C. Yes. So, they can give undertaking with regard to this effect only. Beyond that, nothing can be seen by us. But it would be, if I may say so, it would be a kind of reciprocal things in the final award. I will have to make payment upon purchase of the goodwill. We see. What, what would be the we are whatever is the goodwill whatever has not been lined up in the award mm. whatever is not said in the award in categorical terms we are only looking to the effect of the award so effect of the award can be seen only with by applying the provisions of section 55 that's true section 55 we are applying now, whatever Section 55 says is about three consequences mm. of sale. Yes. For those consequences, they are clearly saying that we are not doing it. Now, for patent and trademark, then, then you have to draw a proceeding saying that this also included the patent and trademark and now they cannot use after this execution, after this uh, uh, statement made by them correct i'm not creating case for you hope. hopefully <laughs> <laughs> so lord so, if you can take it it is already created point. <laughs> oh, it will be required oh. for complete resolution Milo. we want complete resolution but no future we, exactly, yeah. otherwise, no, there is no point nothing we keep on fighting Milo, because this will end we want we want this to end in this See, year it, this can this can this, be, year this can be ended in this way only and that is the only way Beyond that, we cannot go. It would be amount to going behind the decree, which we cannot do. Blanket uh, restriction can't be granted. There cannot be, uh, yes. No, no, I just in future, if there is any breach, we can always restrict this portion. And no, then, that is true, Milad. You know, I, you know, that also, you know, I can do, you know, as a court, like said, I can even do a contempt. Huh. Suppose, you know, this matter, I can is even do a contempt. I am only, I am only, you know, uh, the request is, you know, that if goodwill is referred to in section 55 because 55 one talks about goodwill 55 two we are concerned with the restriction and the court is right i am only saying Milot, that there is an understanding between the parties of what goodwill is no, Milot, no. see that goodwill. understanding was a general generic understanding it is, it is their own case in fact we, no, no. we were not yeah, even just, there just, 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 it was a generic thing yes like the award does not say that the party will not use this new age word also because this word is a trademark of the old old form it doesn't say so no, the, the award right? doesn't say so if the award doesn't say so then that consequence cannot come cannot be read into the award that is not possible okay Milot, that fair. amounts to but modification Milot, of the award which we cannot do but Milot, suppose suppose uh, Milot, now on this point when execution is filed and i raise this issue in execution Milot, can the executing court not go into this issue? That's we are not point. saying anything on that. But uh, fair fair executing enough. court, we fair. we suppose. I, I only that thought that we see, we suppose yes. the executing court yes. is a court of wisdom. It will decide. Fair. Yes. So, 
I am only saying that that if that I raise this issue, no, no, okay. if I raise this issue, the executive court that can say that it's going thing, beyond. But, first thing we have said is yes, we are no, not no, doing no, anything. Let me. We are not doing anything. We are asking the. We are transmitting yes. both these affidavits filed by the parties yes, before the executive court yes, and asking the executive court to decide the matter, considering the affidavits of the parties. Sir. Beyond that, no third sentence. Yes. Fair. Right. Looking. Right. All those things. There is a first, there is an uh, appeal so, from order. So otherwise, uh, uh, after considering these affidavits, not, the questions are kept open, as I understand. We are not saying anything. Okay. Fair. The, <laughs> we, we are not saying the anything. Court, not in a suspense then. Some, the court also. some hypothetical question may crop up tomorrow. <laughs> we are not uh, <laughs> addressing Fair. that. Fair. <clears throat> so this is in uh, appeal. Because for... it is more than distrust, distrust yes. between the parties. Then yes. actual issues. True. So since uh, since you are brothers, so distrust becomes so more. Uh, it it takes over the it envelops the entire issue exactly. Yes, yes. It's all about money. <clears throat> Not about goodwill, but about money. <laughs> and That's the, the irony. <laughs> we argue goodwill, but it's actually not about goodwill. It's about money. That is the whole issue. We also know that. And that is why we wanted that at least they should come to some terms. Some term. So they have shifted their stand now. And that is the job of a mediator. At least they have shifted from their stands. Now, look here. And this is first uh, appeal from order. And there are two special civil applications. So all the three things, all the things can be ultimately remitted to the three. No, 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 no. In light of this, in those three applications, the there were three applications. One was for injunction. 55 only, not the whole matter. No, no, no. In light of section 55 in these affidavits, the honorable court will decide, the executive court will decide that exhibit 120 and 120. No, no. We are only leaving the issue of goodwill to be decided by the uh, trial, by the executing court to see that the decree is executed to its fullest. That's Satisfied. Yes. Satisfied. And the I, amount deposited may be paid to us. Obviously. The amount which is already deposited, that will be paid to them. Paid to us. And this may be decided so, within... No, I must time. It. But if they withdraw this amount, they are still using the goodwill because I have... That is why I am not... That is, because not, there is... I have the balance of within one All right. You deposit within one month yes and then at the time of then the court will decide it within correct. a period of six weeks correct yes that exactly. six weeks will not be extended exactly for any reason exactly and if any of one you are not cooperating the court will proceed yes, yes. no adjournments yes. and the court will observe that and the deposits made by you would be subject to the decision Exactly. Yes. Would be decided by no, the no, state. Withdrawal, no, but all the it's only six weeks. Let the executing court decide oh, exactly, within six, six weeks. weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. More than twelve years of. Oh, but but it may remain invested. Twelve years. You have used. You have used our name. Yes. There is no question of using. We are using all the property of the firm. Yes. Yes. In fact, they have. That is where. Don't don't fight like two brothers. Advocate should not step into the shoes of the <laughs> clients. <laughs> so the amount will be disbursed. That's why they can be even invested during that period. So that there will not be. It is already the amount is already invested. Now, it's After in the... twelve years, we will be seeing uh, color of money, and that too in part. When... You are doing your business. Yeah, the uh, exact... using the name of New Age. We are not using. In fact, not, that exhibit 122 application is is for okay, that purpose only. What is there in other other special? That's what I'm indicating. The other special is arising from adjustment under Order 21 Rule 2, meaning thereby that they have been still using it, the name everything, and they have been withdrawing the money from the bank account. That has to be adjusted. Is our wrong, case, wrong. but ultimately, which, which money is to be adjusted? In the bank account, there are am amounts are lying at Bombay. Which, which bank account? Bank of we have given we have given the entire chart. Bank of Baroda. Nine. Whose bank account? Whose bank account? Can I just give the pay number? Whose bank account? Yes, the firm's bank account. The firm's bank account. Firm's bank account. Two sig only one minute. Two signatures. Two signatures. That is all distributed. 
Sorry. That is all distributed. No, no, it is after they award. After they award. After the award. It is after they award. After the award. Withdrawals are made unilaterally. Two signatures were required. One from us, one from them. They unilaterally withdrew nine crores. We are not entering into any issue. So, yes. So, executing court may not make all these issues. Yes, that has been decided. No, no, there is no. has been decided. No, there is no. There is no decision. They say that, let's say, MPU order. In fact, there is an affidavit on oath. It has never even argued. Not even argued. See, Mr. You have argued on only on section 55. Yes, sir. There is no other argument. Yes. We are not dealing with any other argument. We are not keeping any other argument uh, open apart from the impact of section 55. Gotcha. That is clear. Gotcha. Otherwise, there is no purpose of filing these affidavit exactly. and ending this controversy. No, but no, no, can, can, I, can I just we, take one we have I only, We have only applied on our mind on the impact of section 55. Okay. Nothing more than that. Okay. Not, I, I'll just take one minute. Not, I, no, I'll leave it to the court. I'll just take one minute on this. Why, why, why am I saying it? This amount will be paid by us within one month. So the total amount, let's say that the, the, the calculation given by them, as for their calculation, the total amount is the entire decretal amount. So it's with the court. Now, in that order 21 rule 2 application, we are saying two things. I'm just not highlighting, but I'll leave it to the court thereafter. Hmm. Hmm. Not, there are two things. One, Partnership firm's property is with them in Mumbai. There is one property of the partnership firm in Mumbai, which is used by them. Second is the withdrawals made by them unilaterally after the award is passed, which are from the bank. Bank statement is there, you know, nine crores. I am only saying, you know, that executing court, if I'm correct, you know, subject to correction, has not passed any made any observation as far as this aspect is concerned no, no, no. because we are not in fact we, not, we have taken we have taken a ground that mm -hmm. only a, a exhibit 122 was taken up in order, uh, for hearing and order is passed in both the yes. applications without actually dealing with 123 it is, not, there were two applications separate one was for adjustment and the other was for this restraint page one. 122 was taken up for hearing okay. uh, only that part was argued but the decision is given in both the applications 135 is the order of the transfer. No, there is a specific assertion in our petition that we 135 are... of which? Uh, 33. AO 33. AO 33. Hmm. 1? 135. 135. The impugned order. That is the original. My learned friend is reading para 13, 135. Yes, I am reading. You say it, my friend is reading, I will read it. Yes. So, page 135, uh, above paragraph 14. Hmm. So far, as for the legal provision of order 21, rule 2A, the payment is made in the manner provided in the rule or is proved by the documentary evidence or is admitted by the decree holder. Here, in the or hearing, the applicants have stated that they are have not received any payment towards the decretal amount and there is nothing to be payable by the applicants to the respondent anymore. Furthermore, the payment is not proved by the documentary evidence. The respondent only filed documentary list wide exhibit 120, but looking to the paper submitted by the documentary list, it transpires that all the copies of the statement of bank account, shares of an evaluation report of the CA report are only a Xerox copy and not having any authorized signature or stamp on the document. It is also not admitted by the applicant that it is this stage. The papers submitted are not considered as proof document. Now, so far as the application of the applicant, by submitting exhibit 137 and 144, that's our withdrawal application. Both the applicants are one and the same. Only it reflects the amount deposited by the respondent during the pendency of the present petition towards the payment of the award. As per Exhibit 144, and as per the report of the Nazir of the yes, District Court Surrender, yes. till today, the total amount in the matter present petition is deposited with 27 lakh 11,000. Sorry, 27 odd. The applicants paid through this application for withdrawal of the said amount in the interest as per the 5A of Exhibit 144. Therefore, looking to above circumstances, 
there is no no stay from any honorable higher higher court forum for disbursement of the amount deposited no any litigation regarding the award or pending in any court the award attends finality and admittedly the respondent so considering the whole aspect is this amount is not ordered to be paid applicant it causes injustice to the applicant as the award of the honorable arbitrator is dated p2 2013 more than one decade passed after passing the award during the various court proceedings and now at the present there is no any proceeding pending challenging the award in any court then the proofs of this award are required to be given to the applicant in the interest of justice so far as the amount deposited in this court is concerned the whole deposit the amount has been deposited in the bank by the order of this court as fixed deposit at the relevant time the amount deposited in this court is only the principal amount of the award while mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mehta, yes, sir. In uh, there are there were two applications yes, filed sir. by you. One was under Order Thirty Nine, Rule One and Two. Correct. Right. Second was under Order Twenty One, Rule Two. Correct. You have argued only on one application. Correct. You yes, have sir. argued only on yes, Thirty Nine, Rule One and Two. Yes, sir. And we have whatever mind Agreed. we have applied till now. Agree. On Thirty Nine, One and Two. Agree. So far as this application, One Twenty Three. Under order 21, rule yes, 2, you have not argued. We have not applied our mind. Yes. Sir. So we will not be able to set aside this order. Yes. <clears throat> that is clear. So far as I, their, okay. their application, 137 and 144 are concerned, they were only for the release of the we principal withdraw, amount. Withdraw. That, that, that has been stated. Still, we are proposing Correct. that that should be kept in a fixed deposit. Till we deposit the entire amount. And the entire amount be paid together at the and the yes. execution application yes. has to be decided within a period of uh, six weeks yes yeah. but for this issue this we issue. cannot keep open okay now order 21 so I, i'll just show one parallel now my other friend Brett will not, so he his argument is will not that the trial court has dealt with this will not. now please see only one para 3.27 of the special 3.27 thereafter the court may decide 3.27 of the special c para 3.27 the court says that you have not produced any doc doc. Please, please, please have a look at 3.27. Right. Please seven. Five. Uh, 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 any, uh, any special CL. There are two yeah. special CLs or four special CLs. Three, three, special seven, six. You want adjustment of this amount. Yes. Which, which according to you, they have withdrawn. After the award. Just after the award against the decretal amount. Yes. Right. Yes. Sir. The court has refused it. We uh, cannot yeah. allow. Now, but you know, that, that's what I'm saying. We cannot. Keep, minutes. This issue was not argued by you. It was, no, it was not even. It was, it was not posted for hearing of the deposited deposited In execution, it is always meant for paying to decree holder. Mm -hmm. If you are any amount deposited in the court, in an execution it's itself. It is not only for the satisfaction of the uh, court, it is for payment to the decree yes, holder. Yes. How they can object to it. That's a different thing. You know, that is part... is talking about a withdrawal. You know, I am on the point of adjustment. You know, I am only saying that 3.27 of the see, special CAB right. Only one parameter. Yes, That's sir. all. That is very important, 3.27 is to what transpired. If the court doesn't find merit in that fine, Milan. But 3.27 is our explanation. Mm. Because though the court three records a finding in one para on the adjustment application, Milan, please have a look at 3.27 Milan. Actually. This matter was never taken up for. I this application was never taken up. So only argued. Therefore, we could not see. One minute. You have argued whatever. See, the, when we have granted you time to file your affidavits, you even then did not press this issue. No, no. Before the court, it is kind of afterthought. No, 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 it's before the, you know, that's why we are challenging in a special CA. May I read three point twenty seven? Allow about forty seven now. Not, we are not expanding. The court can still come to the conclusion it that is, this adjustment can't be given. See, one issue, this issue, we cannot leave open. No, can you look uh, at what had happened before the trial? Unless and until you are able to demonstrate yes. that this amount is liable to be adjusted and there is an any, any error yes. in the order of the executing. But it was never... On these, 
it was never even you we can were not... still argue we have not decided the matter on this court no before the lower court also it was never in fact the matter was only for order 39 you cannot you no, cannot that is what say this we have stated on oath and they have not disputed you, that you no. this is not acceptable at all so kindly look at that, that 3.27 has been uncontroverted See, by the what what happens is and that you insist the court well, you, you insist the in a, this is one this is one order i should appreciate that four applications are decided together this normally doesn't happen in the courts exactly. below. Hmm. The, every lawyer or generally what, what is the trend over there that you insist that only one application is to be Slice decided today and then that application on the other day, the fourth one on the other day. So if the judge has decided four applications together, it is perfectly justified. You cannot argue that this was not heard. No, it was between the parties. We are not agreed. permitting. No, we were not called upon to argue, Milan, because we thought that only this no, that, this, is this, this you cannot argue. You cannot. Even yes. before no, us, you did not argue. No, our no, argument there, here only is this. No, no, but no. Not, see. There, just see, before the entire no. matter was opened, the court obviously will not. Yeah, now it is in the. At that point of time, also you were required. Now, still, we are asking you to argue. <laughs> argue before us. Okay, we can produce even originally. The court says, as we it was not heard. Court says we that these are their off topic. Originally, is it we, us? we are not permitting you to argue that you were not heard. Okay, so to here challenge disorder. Very well. The court is giving us a chance. If I am able to demonstrate, can we do this? If I am able to demonstrate in five or ten minutes whether these documents should be taken into account or not, at least then the court may decide. On this aspect, limited. Then, otherwise, you know, the court may say fair. You know, the, uh, this only the ground payment. is that these are Xerox copies. We have got original. That is the only ground given for rejecting Please. the application. What you cannot have original. Uh, had you filed original before the court below, we, you can you filed Xerox copy. Yes, you, yes. You kept original with you. But you cannot ask the court to decide on the Xerox copy of the document. Therefore, therefore, the court had it had be, be given a report. You, you should have report. filed the entire document along with the list of documents, original copies before the court below, and that that is the but law of pleading. But that, we were never you are seeking I, you are seeking for adjustment of this amount. But you cannot say that I have kept original with me and I have filed Xerox copy. I will show you original. I, I have never even. Why would we look into the original? Huh. I have never even Lord, uh, been called upon that you produce original. This, even the other side also is not this objecting is, to that. This is even what we are not accepting. You are not a child. No, no, you, the, you have filed an application. You know the law of pleading. The lawyers are there. So you cannot say that every time the court should call upon you. You are if you are if you are pleading something, you have to yeah. substantiate your pleadings. To substantiate your pleading, you did not file sufficient documents before the court, and we do not find any error in the order of the court in rejecting those documents which you were relying upon. Now you cannot ask us to show look to those documents which are with you. And that to be two twenty seven. Hmm. All right. May, may, I, may, I, may I say you are not sitting in the first appeal. All right. May I say one thing? Lord, in light of if if the, uh, on, as we have addressed this point, Lord, why are those things? Lord, it would, supposing what we are saying is correct, let Lord, let me anyway. see the if if you argue, you can argue these affidavits are to be ignored. Then no, no, I'm I'm or saying can something argue. else. I'm we are saying, see, you cannot blow hot and cold in the same breath. No, the, the problem, we I'm have saying, we have you we have asked you to shift your own stand as well. You cannot stay at, at your own position. And then ask the other party to shift its stand. You are sticking to, if you are sticking to your position, let the other party also stick to the position. Then it becomes an adversarial litigation. We will decide on the merits. That's all. No, I, and if if the stands are to be shifted, then both sides have to shift their obviously, stand. Yes, obviously. There is no question. Then because otherwise, there is no question of any the consensus. The right. All right. Well, the last uh, kind of uh, request on my part. Can, can this... See, the choice is, we have given you the choice. We are ignoring these affidavits. Argue on merits. No, no. What I'm indicating is that... Then everything is open. Okay. 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 As far as that is concerned, all right. For, we forget 21-2. But uh, our independent remedy to recover that will not get, it would be... A, a, a we are not separate. saying anything. You can draw your own proceedings. We are not doing anything. Not before we are, receiving court. This, this order... Of the, the fresh. Uh, this uh, order of the trial court only say the executing yes. court only says that you have not been able to substantiate your claim by filing the document which is worthy of 
acceptance in the execution proceedings to make any adjustment in the amount which is the decretal amount it's not a joke you are asking the trial court to make any make adjustments in the decretal amount which is which you are otherwise liable to pay in a time bound period now it's you, you cannot argue that you have filed the photocopy and i am keeping the original copy with me court has not called upon me to file the original copy and court has wrongly rejected it this you cannot argue before us we are in 227 we are not entering into this type of controversy therefore therefore last request is that on not 212 if uh, our independent remedy to recover that that we are not uh, supposed to say anything the law will take its own course we are not this would not come in our way for that we are not saying anything as of now we cannot say anything as of now we have to dispose of this petition only and the other appeal there is an appeal from appeal order to and to special ha huh. we have to uh, do this in terms of this uh, affidavit without saying anything whatever is the impact of the order and then we cannot end we are not entering into the merits of the claim yes so we will write in the order that we are not entering into the merits of the claim of the parties that will be for the executing court and yes, yes and we are confining your arguments to the extent of the impact of section 55 which you raised before us and the affidavit and the effect will be seen by the executing court and executing court shall make an effort to execute the decree to its uh, satisfaction that's all 212 is not open and we will write that the only point which was raised before us is impact of section 55 if you want to think over you can think today then come over again tomorrow or can we come at 2:30 yes all right ketri jode se bolna pad ab bata mam नंबर 64 मैसेज ठक्कर एंड बाबा एडवोकेट्स मिस्टर विश्वास केशा अवार्ड हस शी इज म्यूटेड टेल हर मे आई रिक्वेस्ट माय लॉर्ड्स टू एकोमोडेट मी फॉर अ डे आई एम आउट ऑफ स्टेशन एंड आई देयरफॉर हैव फाइल लीव नो ओके सो वी आर कीपिंग इट टुमारो a uh, lordship's request for for monday i'll okay uh, on monday no more adjournment i am highly obliged as read by ms ms dot
नवीन संगीता कमल एन एडवोकेट अपेयरिंग फॉर द अपेलेंट द मैटर इज पोस्टेड ऑन फिफ्टीन मेकिंग इट क्लियर नहीं सॉरी एट्थ making it clear that no further adjournment would be granted comma as the matter is quite old please ma'am stop i'm deeply sleepy please 65 mr vaibhav shet mr a v prajapati learned pass over here is a matter wherein in 2010 I was appearing on behalf of NHI, my lord. So this is very old matter. Instead of approaching under Section 34, this state will uh, file a petition before this meeting. NHI file. Yes. Okay. They are file means special private parties. Yes, special election officer pass an award against which uh, they approach with the collector. Collector pass an award against which uh, Section 34 is my lord the remedy to file. Instead of that, they file a petition before. Sir, Mr. Sethi, another matter uh, before the another matter is running. Sir, this hmm? thing for pass over. Did you put my matter? Before the another court, Mr. Sethi, Mr. Sethi. Let him come. We will wait for him. We have to rise by five o'clock. By the time, any time, he can walk in and argue. <laughs> but we are not adjourning the matter if he is not turning up then we will dismiss it for non prosecution at the end of the day at 5 o'clock there would be an order Please. if he is not turning up सेंबर 66 पार्टड मैटर से संदीप मुंजा सर और मिस्टर मुंजा सर दिस वाज कैप्ट एट 4:00 फॉर टुडे दिस कैप्ट एट टुडे फॉर 4:00 देयरफॉर आई एम इट्स 1:00 इट्स देयर इन द बोर्ड इट्स दैट इज सम कंफ्यूजन देयरफॉर आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग फॉर 4:00 स्माइल इफ माय लेडी सेफ ओके 4:00 4:00 बट ही हैज टू बी हियर एट 4:00 यस सर 100% सर ही विल बी हियर प्लीज सर 67 मिस्टर एन वी गांधी मैसेज थानावटी कंपनी लर्न इट प्लीज वॉच सर कैप्टन यू वॉच द इन द 1 पीएम वोट फॉर द लॉन्ट एजीपी टू टेक इंस्ट्रक्शंस इन रिलेशन टू द मेकिंग ऑफ ड्राफ्ट अवार्ड क्यू आर द लैंड ऑफ द पिटिशन हैज बीन अक्वायर्ड बाय एनएचआई एंड हैव नॉट बीन पेड कॉम्पेंसेशन हैव यू गॉट द इंस्ट्रक्शंस यस माय लॉर्ड्स माय इंस्ट्रक्शंस आर दिस वाज दैट व्हिच इज दिस नंबर 67 84C it says 84C the land was subject to the legal proceedings my lords wherein it was carried before the okay ultimately in the petition succeeded and now okay. whether he could be granted okay. the award and therefore the honorable so, court had inquired my instructions are that till date uh, no appeal has been preferred against the order of the which appeal appeal rather any proceedings which proceeding Against the order of the GRT, meaning thereby. Which which order? Of the GRT, it is in favor of the petitioner. Acha, you did not file any. So this order. has become final. Yes. Then now in a in a day or two, my instructions are just taken right mm. now. Is that in a day or two, proposal in a section three A would be sent to the NHA, and there after a period of one month. What proposal? For drawing up notification of three A for this particular land. You can do it. You declare the award, and pay compensation and uh, work it out. You cannot do this. Like, what is the date of uh, passing of the uh, this uh, order by the tribunal? No, yeah. this land was subject matter of acquisition. Acquisition for. But at the relevant point of time, it should government land because. So you, it was not part of the section four, uh, three a three d. No, it could not. No, it could not form part of the notification because at the relevant point of time, no, it was but gone. It was not part of the notification. No, it was. Thousand twelve. They say that it was part of notification. You did not prepare the award, treating it as a government land. Three A three D is completed. Is can I just Where say have this? you stated so? Is can I just uh, say this minutes? Three A was published. 
the land was notified hmm that was on the 4th uh, th- uh, 4th of april 2012 but hmm. because it was a government land in the revenue records the 3d notification was not published so 3d is now only formality that's right the land so is we- already vested that's right so they will have to prepare the draft award and send it to us for factual you, verification you, you, where is the question of further 3a 3d no so we can prepare likhega from the from the government's maid by land councils for the parties comma it is there is no dispute it is undisputed comma karega undisputed facts reflected from the record are that the land in question namely survey number there was a draft award also prepared by them well is in that draft award this property was not there milits okay. okay so now they will have to make it because at that point of time the tribunal had not passed the order okay okay kya likha the land in survey number 73 at measuring block slash survey number 73 at measuring so and so paragraph a 4a page 4 so and so situated and so and so was subject matter of acquisition of the acquisition notification what is the date of dated 4 4 yes. 2012 that's right please under section 3a of the national highways act 1956 first of however it was not included in the it was included in the uh, 3d also with a observation that it is a government land okay it was also correct the land in question was also notified for acquisition in the declaration notification under section 3d dated uh, dated Uh, 3D notification is nine one two thousand fourteen minutes. Nine. So twenty nine twelve two thousand fourteen minutes. Twenty nine twelve two thousand fourteen. 3D. Okay, in my written instruction, three eight. That was twenty nine twelve two thousand. So there seems to be your lordship may skip the date minutes. There seems to be some error minutes. 3D career. 3D notification. Pursuant to the notification dated four four two thousand twelve, issued under section published under section three A of the National Highways Act nineteen fifty six. First off, however, the award of the land for compensation for determination of compensation of the land in question has not been declared on the premise that the land in question was. a government land and no compensation could be awarded to the petitioner here in first of the petitioners have been dispossessed you have been dispossessed please the petitioners have been dispossessed the land was confiscated into the state law uh, the petitioners have been dispossessed from the land in question after it was confiscated in the proceeding Under Section eighty four C of the Tenancy Act, पूरा लिख दीजिएगा Tenancy Act in the year two thousand four. First of power, ultimately, comma the petitioner has succeeded in the challenge brought to the proceedings initiated by the state authorities before the Gujarat Revenue Tribunal, comma. Which has allowed the revision filed by the petitioner by order dated two two twenty twenty two. Two three twenty two. Twenty twenty two. There is a page eight. First off, the result is that the proceedings. The 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 result is that the petitioner has been declared the rightful owner of the subject land. and the possession of the land has been restored to the petition wide mutation has been declared karega and of the owner rightful owner of the subject land i mean and a mutation entry number 1386 dated 23 2022 has been made in the name of 
made career, made restoring the name of the petitioner in the revenue record. First off, it is on a query made by the court comma Mr. Krutik Parekil on AGP appearing for the state respondents would submit that as per the instructions received by him, comma, the order passed by the tribunal dated 2 2 2022 has attained finality. Not challenged till. As is, it has not been challenged by initiating appropriate proceedings by the state authorities. First of the result is that the result is that the petition is entitled for determination of compensation for the land in question which has been acquired for the construction of national highway in the year 2012. First of the it is it is also an admitted fact that in the award prepared for the position in question, comma the land in question has not been included on the premise that it was a state land. First off, in the said situation, comma, the respondent here in the in, in the said situation, comma, the competent authority, comma, Nash slash special land acquisition officer, namely respondent number three, is hereby required to determine compensation of the land in question by applying the provisions of the Right to Fair Compensation Act 2013, comma, treating the date of acquisition of the land in question as 1-1-2014, comma, for the purposes of determination of compensation in view of section 24 brackets 1 of the act 2013 first of all, meaning thereby comma the market value of the land in question shall be determined as on 1 1 2014 and the compensation shall be computed by the competent authority by applying all elements of compensation in accordance with the pro strictly in accordance with the provisions of the right to fair compensation act 2030 how much time will you need it is on a it is submitted by learn agp that for declaration of the award two months time may be provided to the competent authority you are not we, filing any affidavit. Please, two corrections, that please. Provision written instructions were sought for. Where are your instructions? It's of February. Thereafter, my lord, obtained the updated instructions in the morning. For written instructions supplied by. Please, two corrections, please. Your lordships have stated 1 1 2014. It will be 1 1 2015 minutes. The act became applicable to National Highways Authorities. 1 1 2014. 15 minutes. 2013 Act came into force on 1 1 That's right, Miles. It became applicable by the ordinance, Miles, on 1 1 2015. Effective date would be for 1 1 2015, Miles. As far as uh, yeah. the removal of difficulties it orders. It should be 1 1 2014. Miles, they, uh, the, uh, the removal of difficulties it, order says. For one, other provisions, for other aspects, this Act came into force on 1 1 2014. Yes, Miles. But otherwise, so far as the determination of market value is concerned, yes, that would be the three A notification date. Hmm. So that determination, see, yeah, that we one. we are not saying three A notification Fair. because this was not done at the relevant point of time. In Fair. the meantime, new act came into force. So when we are applying two thousand thirteen act, then the for since. This would be a transitional. No, please. I'm sorry, please. My my mistake, please. I was wrong, please. The date of three A notification is fourth of April two thousand and fourteen. No, no. It is it is twelve. No, no. It is fourteen, please. Actually. No, if it is fourteen, then there would be no difficulty. Yes, please. It is fourteen. But it is in the red petition. It is written. Please, they may have stated 12. so. I just checked with the officers, please. It 4 is. Four twelve is the date written in the. Uh, red no, petition. Please, uh, 
the 3A notification is uh, is 2014 bullets and the 3D notification is 29th of December 2014. See, you have not given us the correct date. Where from we get the date? Because your lotus may have page 77. This is the 3D notification bullets. 29-12-2014. 77 is not the 3D notification. It is some other document. Please, uh, column 3D no jahir namo. No, you are talking about 77. 77 is the award sort of. That's thing. right. Well, it's in the award, in, uh, the, uh, the date of the 3D notification. We don't know. From award, we cannot draw a conclusion that this uh, this yes. this uh, acquisition is for this land. Fair enough. There's no difficulties. We that bring is... it. Thanks. Bring the uh, acquisition notifications. Once you say that this land was included in 3 and 3D both, file the acquisition notification. I'll do that. Please. Your Lord says, keep it on Monday, please. I'll do that by then. Your Lordship, we just retain this audible as your Lordship, we pass it on Monday bullets. And two months' time we provided competent authority. Full stop, para change. Kare. Noticing the above, comma, we dispose of the instant petition, present petition with the observation that the Award determining compensation of the land in question in, in light of the above observations and directions shall be declared as expeditiously as possible, comma, as expeditiously must be within a period of two months from today, comma, failing which. And, and the proceedings for disbursement of compensation shall be completed immediately after declaration of the award, comma, in an expeditious manner. First stop. In case of failure on the part of the respondent to declare up the award within the time given above, comma, it would be open for the petitioner to approach this court again. There's so only now one the clear. only question remains is of uh, date. date. Plus, it would not make much of a difference because it is either January or February, but it will be 2014. So your lordships may retain that. There's no difficulties. Plus, only one request. Plus, the yeah, possession... Our order will, would be wrong on the... No, no, I'll, I'll give it to the court master by 2 uh, two thirty minutes. Your lordships can be assured on that. There's only one request. The date of possession would be the date of the order of the tribunal. Plus, because then it will be uh, for the purposes of... The of possession is no, nowhere here. The possession was with the state authorities. We are not concerned with the date of possession given to you. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, see, the, they were disposed... No, for the purposes of... Cal they, they, they were disposed in 2004. The possession was given to you by the state authorities. Now, the from the date of disposition, the compensation has to be paid to the petitioner. Till the date of... From the date of so-and-so till the date of filing of the red petition. That compensation is to be determined till the date of filing of the red petition here. Because, huh, because you have uh, not declared award even after losing the before the tribunal in the year 2022. So till the date of filing of the red petition, okay, the, com, the com, all elements of compensation shall be determined and computed from the date of treating the red, treating the date of filing of the red petition, instant red petition as the date of disposition of the petition. Yes, anything else? May I have the liberty Miller to mention? Or just a permit? No, no, this. We are ready with instruct instructions. Sir. We are ready with the instructions, no? we'll go back. So, yes or not? Only one, oh, on the base of these affidavits, no? the first, we are not changing our stand. So that's that's a better way of putting it, We're not changing our stand. You know, is it possible for us to withdraw this one, the adjustment application? Because since we propose to take our remedies elsewhere, 
Uh, you know that also may not be also mentioned. We in fact may not we want the court to say something, but the court is saying that court is not saying anything. You know, can we withdraw this one twenty three and we will take our remedy remedies elsewhere if available in law? No, see the application is rejected. Yes, sir. Now you can withdraw the writ peti the petition. Yes, sir. But that order will stand against you. So if I you know, for example, if I file a suit for specific performance, I fail. I file a first appeal. In the first appeal, you know, I can withdraw the suit. The Supreme but this Court is not first appeal. Ah, true. But so, but in a special CMA, you know, the challenge is to the rejection of my Exhibit 123. You know, is it not permissible for me to challenge to withdraw my Exhibit 123? You know, to take my remedies elsewhere if available in law. We have no objection. Ah, I, I don't think they get. They are not prejudiced, you know. Only my and if available in law, I'm saying yeah, under Article 125, he has to make application within one month. That's why. But that's a one so month. I, if available in law, not available, not available. I will fail. Uh -huh. Whatever. That's why I said that it doesn't right. really prejudice it. So we can do that now. So then the court may only for 55 this matter is going back on the way and uh, the impact because of the Because otherwise also if you argue yes. that the, they have withdrawn money of the firm, that will be a new cause of action. A separate but cause of action. Very, very unfortunate. It cannot be. Huh. You know, it's very it unfortunate. Cannot there, be is, the there part is bungling, of... there is sheer bungling on our part. Otherwise, there is, you know, I'm not saying this for the purpose of saying it or to prejudice the court. You know, there is solid evidence to show unilateral withdrawals and one property retained by them in Mumbai. But I I, I stop it. That, that is a separate cause of okay. action. Okay. So I'll withdraw my 123 million. Because that division of property is not here. It is not subject matter of a board. <laughs> right? The whatever property they have retained according to you. It is a part of, it was a property of the partnership firm. So when the award was passed, the award should have mentioned about this property. The, it is not mentioning. Okay. Award doesn't mention not that it. these are the properties not of the partnership not firm. It. And these are distributed amongst the partners. So then. This property is correct. This property nobody can de dis decide. Yes. Then that would be a separate, separate cause property. of action yes. where you will say that this is the property of the firm. If permissible in law. <laughs> So therefore, Milad, please allow me to withdraw my 123. I'll take my remedies elsewhere, if permissible in law. And this 122 will not maybe send back to decide the impact of these two affidavits. Sure. Not only for the one. Ah, this only for 50. 50. Yeah, for it no, not only one submission. As the adjustment application is now withdrawn. Hmm? Ah. As the adjustment application is withdrawn. So far, the uh, amount which has been deposited, that will be paid to us now. Now, at just spent it all. No, what, what, we, what we are saying is, Six court has already years. said, but what we are saying is, <laughs> let this dispute be brought to its logical end. Let this matter be decided. They, they should uh, deposit the remaining amount. The amount which is already deposited should be kept in an, an interest-fetching account. Halanki one month will not make any difference. That's what I'm saying. So in six weeks, positively, the court will decide, decide, decide. the execution part. Yes. And if they are failing in making the payment, if they resile from the affidavit which they have given to us, they will face the music. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Lots of so what we propose to do is that this direction of the trial court yes, to make the payment as per the schedule provided at pay in the order, yes, we are modifying this to the extent yes, that they will deposit the affidavit are sent sent to the court and the parties have, uh, have given an undertaking that they will comply with the undertaking given in the affidavit and cooperate with the executive court in deciding the execution application to its logical conclusion. And the once the application is decided, the payment shall be released in favor of the, whatever the deposits are there, those shall be released in favor of the decree holder. Not Correct? Not subject to the outcome. So the executive court will decide that. Yeah, money. What is the outcome? Certain applications outcome? are also pending. Certain applications are also pending. Ah, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are the decree holder. Ah, so, so the executive court will, suppose the executive court is with me, the court will say that the payments to be entirely released and you are restrained from one, two, three. That is there. Obviously. Ah, exactly. Obviously. That will be only in nature against okay, the payment. But they, be there. What, what we have said is that, let me dictate it. 
Otherwise, I'll also. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we'll keep on with Likhe, <laughs> having her learn councils for the parties and for use the record, comma. There are two affidavits or only one. Achha, all three. Two, three, 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 three. And, kare, and in view of the affidavits filed before us, comma, by one of the appellants herein. You have not stated that you are filing this affidavit on behalf of all other appellants? Of all, all the appellants. Okay. Affidavit is one of the appellants. Okay. But what I have mentioned that... Affidavit filed on behalf of, by, by one of the appellants, namely, Jimit Mahesh Kumar Shah, comma, on behalf of other all other all the appellants comma as also the affidavits of three respondents herein namely nikhil ashok kumar shah comma milind ashok kumar shah and bharat jayanti lal shah comma we are of the considered opinion we find, we find it fit and proper to relegate the matter to the executing court. First off, we may note that the instant appeal has arisen out of an order dated 19-2-2014 passed by the commercial court in execution case number, in commercial execution case number, number, case number 15 of 2022, comma, in rejecting hmm. application exhibit 122, whereby the petitioner has, the appellant, the appellant has sought for injunction. Invoking Order 39, Rule 1 and 2 of the Code of Civil Procedure. First off, during the other two, there are two civil applications. No, there, there, there are two execution petitions. There are two awards. One AO and two special civils. Okay. One execution petition is 14 by 2022. Okay. And another is 15 by 2020. Okay. In so each, this order. There are three, two specials here and one AO. So they, this order of uh, order 39 rule 2 is passed in only one execution. Okay. That is 15 of 2022. It, 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 even in the same way in a, AO 14 also. AO 14 is also there. Yes. AO yeah. 34. AO 34 arising out okay. of commercial execution. The instant 40. appeals have arisen. Uh, separate orders of the same day. A separate order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Separate order. Yeah. Uh, against the separate orders dated so and so. Mm -hmm. Of the same day dated so and so, filed by the so and so. Up. Execution case mm -hmm. number may add 14 of 2022 and 15 of 2022. And similarly, in both CAs, the other applications. We have made a bifurcation. Your application, one thirty. We have made a bifurcation. You have filed a special CA. One AO and two special CAs. Right. So one special CA is arising out of 15. Another is 14. Arising out of 14. No, no. Uh, AO is against the... Exhibit. Order 39, section rule 1, section 50 in 14 and 15, yeah. both execute. Special CA is against adjustment. One special CA is against adjustment. So, and the, the other is against their withdrawal. Okay. We have given the table. Okay. Okay. I have given the table. So, the the special CA. Ah, this, this can be referred to. And uh, this is a table. It's easy. This can be and the order, order is in both uh, matters. Yes. You are challenging both orders both passed orders. in both matters in one CA. No, no, no. Exactly. So there are two AOs and four special CAs. Achha, four. Ah, there are four. 58 to 63. Okay, items got it. To 63. Okay, the connected, the connected special civil applications under Article 227 of the Constitution of India have been filed 
challenging the orders passed by the executing court in rejection of application exhibit 123 comma seeking for adjustment of certain amount allegedly withdrawn by the response from the funds of the partnership fund first of para change the other set of special civil application is to challenge has been filed to have been filed to challenge has been correct has been filed to challenge the order passed by the executing court directing for payment of the deposits made by the appellant slash petitioner herein petitioners could appellants could herein against the decree against the award grade as against the awarded amount first off we may further note that the dispute between the parties that the execution application has been filed applications number kariga 14 and 15 of 2022 have been filed seeking for execution of two awards of the same date yes same date same date ha huh. commercial execution petition kar dijiye same date ah kya likha seeking for execution of two awards dated 32 between the same set of parties first of para change kar after the long deliberations in the matter comma the parties have agreed to the terms as indicated in the affidavits filed before us comma noted here in above post stop para change kar we provide we we therefore kare ha in order to kare in order to bring the dispute to its logical conclusion between the parties who are real brothers no 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 partners, partners. who are partners, partners. Kare, who are between the parties kare, who are partners of the erstwhile partnership firm comma we transmit the affidavits we find it fit and proper to transmit the affidavits filed by filed on behalf of the appellants and by three respondents herein dated 25th 25 3 2024 and 21st march 2024 semicolon respectively comma with the direction to the executing court to proceed with the execution case taking into consideration of the undertaking given by the parties in the affidavits in the aforesaid affidavits first of the execution petitions both the execution petitions shall be proceeded no sorry the the mr kari mr shalin mehta lanad ne as per the affidavit of the appellants comma they are ready and willing to deposit the balance of the awarded amount slash decretal amount within a period of 1 month first stop in view of the said undertaking given by the appellants comma b further provide that the appellant shall deposit the balance awarded amount on or before today's fourth on or before third me fourth is saturday four weeks it it may be working saturday on or uh, before fourth may 2024 first stop on the said deposits made by the appellants comma the executing court shall proceed 
with the execution cases execution cases and make an endeavor to decide the same on a date to be fixed within a further period of two weeks from the date of the deposit. Four weeks plus two so weeks, we said right six weeks. There will be a summer vacation. For hmm. Otherwise, so right. at this end, it should no, be decided. No, 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 but if they are agreeable, if only they are agreeable, no. No, if I'm asking, if they are agreeable, uh, this execution petitions can be decided within six weeks from today only, simultaneously. No, if no, they are agreeable. So we can, we so can this, finish it this, earlier. This I don't six, mind. This we are getting additional time. They, no, no. Four weeks for you to file to Correct. deposit and two weeks thereafter to decide. Oh, yes. It comes to fair, four, fair, six fair, weeks. Fair. So, but, not, but then the court may provide that the execution petitions be heard. Suppose you, you deposit uh, uh, like you deposit it not at the la on the last day, but early. It, it, it then will it be, will be it decided is, earlier. So that you can know what Okay, happened. so the executing court will start the matter only after a deposit. The yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Two weeks. Within two weeks. From the date of deposit, correct. No problem. Uh, before that, the court will no, decide. One, one has to give this undertaking has to be obeyed. That is why I have kept this that two weeks after the date of. Now deposit. my management is saying that the executing court should decide what is due. <laughs> That's not another no, no no cat in the back then no. because you know that that would be no no. I, I, I'm, 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 uh, within a further period of two weeks from the date of de deposits made by the appellants, for stop in any case, comma the entire proceedings of execution in both the cases shall be brought to their logical end within a period of six weeks from today. For stop. In case of any non-cooperation on the part of any of the parties to the proceeding, comma, it would be open for the executing court to decide the matter in absence of such a party. First of all, no adjournment, much less ad unnecessary adjournment would be granted to any of the parties. First of the we may further clarify that we have not entered into the merits of the claim of the parties and have relegated the matter to the executing court, taking note of the affidavits filed by them before us, comma, which are which are being transmitted for consideration by the executing court. Post of para change. Before parting with this order, comma, we may further note the contention of the learned advocate appearing for the appellants, first of Mr. Shalin Mehta, learned advocate appearing for the appellants would submit that the appellants may be permitted to withdraw the applications Just filed under Order 21, Rule 2, CPC by them in both the execution proceedings, namely Commercial Execution Petition Number 14 of 2022 and same way, 15 of 2022, comma, as they propose to avail appropriate remedy available to them mm -hmm. under law before the competent forum slash authority. Fair. Right. Before I, a competent forum. Not sure, but direct the parties to appear on, on the next Monday so that the judge can give date. Huh. Okay. Oh, yes. We, we further direct that... Both the parties shall. We further direct the Registrar General High Court to tra to transmit the affidavits of the parties as noted here in above within a period of one week from today to the concerned court. And the concerned court is further directed to fix a date for appearance of the parties or the concerned court career. Nee, and the parties can and that the party shall appear before the concerned court on what date? Like, on when? today's fourth. Twelfth. On twelfth. On twelfth. To enable the concerned court to fix a further date for consideration of the matter. 
नो ये तो अभी इनिशियल डेज दिस अपेरेंस फॉर इज फॉर इनिशियल स्टेज सो दैट द मैटर मेक किक स्टार्ट एंड इवन फॉर शोइंग दिस ऑडिबल बिकॉज़ दिस ऑडिबल हैड बी सेड ये ऐसे करे द and the first of here the matter fix it will be transmitted within that period for executing code we have given only two weeks rest is for uh, them to deposit money for nothing ha huh? yes nothing is to be done by executing code till you deposit the money that is where i was saying that if they are agreeable we can start the matter so the matter may even come to an end before before the money what is, is what is left with the matter oh, okay fair very well for, since the for court is saying arguments for uh, because because the, if the court is going to consider the affidavits then i have to in any case make the deposits i got i got mm -hmm. I, i i stand corrected if the, the this first part is not completed if there is a default on your two part two weeks, weeks. then nothing nothing is to be done fair i got it so that is yes, why sir, I, we have and what what you can, you can do is no, tell okay, no, we further no, no, execute no, no, that the party shall appear before the executing court the 12th will be too far i think you appear on 8th on a 8th order by consensus that will do on 8th along with the copy of this order and it will by consensus you will get copy Lord, by this order is by along with the copy of this order to enable the executing court to fix a further date so the two things only that okay upar likh lijiye jahan pe likha na aapne we have not gone into the merits of the case and the order and this order kare and this order has been passed with the consent of the learn advocates consent of the parties intimated by the learn advocates yes, no, no. appearing for them and modified so now this is modified the order is modified the or the ha the the judgment That's in order dated so and so subject matter of challenge in the instant in the kare in the instant the in this set of kare in this set of appeals and the petition and and the petitions under article 227 of the constitution stands modified to the above extent so correct and one thing is clear about that one day, no days. no deposit no withdrawal till this execution comes to an end in 6 weeks that will be clarified uh, that obviously, part, obviously. Okay. it is further clarified that yes. the Withdrawal. deposits already made by the judgment debtor shall be kept in an interest fetching account and shall be released along with the deposits to be along with the remaining deposits <laughs> to be made by the Appellant. judgment debtor slash judgment debtor kar dijiye at the time subject to kariye subject to at the time of kariye final disposal of the execution application okay. execution petitions एग्जीक्यूशन पिटिशन विद इन दाइम गिवेन अब विद इन दाइम एज पर दब डिशन <laughs> interpretation yes <laughs> without <laughs> words <laughs> and it's in one line you can you can give it the meaning you want <laughs> <laughs> this is what uh, okay. lawyers and judges do <laughs> like that. you you are not required then if you are not <laughs> thank you
pass over matters number 65, Mr. Vaibhav Shet, uh, Mr. A.V. Prajapati. My apology, my Lord, I was not here. This is under National Highways Act. A uh, reference was made under Section 3G5. The report, there are two reports. Yes, are we? But I can. Yes, there were. One aspect which I must brought to your lordship notice is that there were other claimants as well, original claimants, where their lands were also, had also gone under acquisition. So the court they said gone, that you can straight away come had gone, in had, section 37. See, I am I am only worried that limitation would badly hit me because beyond a period of 30 days, over a period of 90 days, it would be extremely And if we, if you uh, if you decide this matter, then what would be the fate of our judgment? I it would be without when, jurisdiction when or not. Argued the point whether a See, it would be without or... jurisdiction or not. Problem. Can we permit you to skip one step? But a similar issue still pending before the Honorable Supreme Court whether a suit would lie or a petition after 3G5 would be there. Suit I is not tried... an issue here. I that issue I'm is sorry. completely Appli different. Appli application, I'm sorry. Mm. But that is still pending. I try to take the sense of... What is it still pending? Not the issue before the Honorable Supreme Court is that after... An that issue has any bearing on this fact of this case? There is an order passed by the Honorable Single Judge when these matters were coming up before the Honorable Single Judge. And it is directed that after that issue is concluded... Which issue? The issue? the issue before the Honorable Supreme Court is that... Should a writ petition lie against rejection of an order under 3G5 or an application has to be made since it's an arbitral award? That that issue is pending before. Where, where is that? Lord, there is. There can, is a, can you show us the order? Where is that Lord, issue pending? I, I, because at the time of admission. It's a council. We will decide that issue. I, we will decide it. It's a legal issue which you are raising. will decide. Today I'm, this is 227 I'm petition. Worried. I can easily no, make a statement. This that is I the 227 move. petition which you have filed. Yes. Right. Now, please argue. But I could go and file an application, but the only difficulty on my part, I'm really worried. Mr. Officer, counsel, you argue, we will decide it. But whether 227 not, is maintainable or not. I do not have that copy of the order, which is... We, we decided. No, no, before, is there before the Honorable Supreme Court. Hoga? I would be handicapped. We, that, that is not from Gujarat High Court, no? But this is that is not that some other court. Yes, some that other. judgment is not binding on us. We can take a different view. Now, please argue. But I others have gone and filed an application. Everything is in air. No, no. I, no, you do. You did there, not there have. Were, there were. You 50. do not even know which is the order, which no. court has passed order, whether order is in your favor or against you. No, it is pending. That is what I. What is pending? Took the sense of my learned friend because. What, what is pending? The petition is still pending before the Honorable What Court. is pending? But what this is issue, issue, whether this an application would lie against an arbitral Please, award. We, or... we are not impressed by this kind right. of argument at all. But and I, we'd, we would be proceed. the last person to adjourn no, I'll on proceed these grounds. Then, Lord, I'll not... Please proceed. Yes. So kindly have uh, the impune award. Now, this is the first issue is about the applicability of Article 227. To challenge the order, the award passed by an arbitrator under Section 3G5. I would be requesting this wise. I would not trouble your lordships to look into the no, no, merits and decide. Please trouble us. We are not here to, if, to be troubled. No, yes, if to be troubled. But I would be requesting this wise that there were several claim petitions which had gone to the concerned court against this very order only. Which uh, court? This very, it's a huge parcel of land situated in... This so, where village. are those writ petitions? But writ petitions were not filed. They are directly approached the concerned court by making an application... Which concerned court? At uh, Sabarkanta. District court, an application was moved against this very... Section unit. 34. Yes. Okay. Now, those were remanded back to the learned collector. Okay. And again, those are rejected. The request today is on my side is that I would go, but the only worry 
the problem is limitation the limitation would hurt me badly my lord otherwise i would have easily made a statement the limitation would lord award is of 2004 please your lordships 3g please and 3g5 is is 10 9 2009 Page nineteen, my lord, is the. Now nobody has succeeded, even after remitter. Yes. Then it has again. Why do you want to waste your energy was, and money? I was appearing both. in fifty group of cases, fifty villages at that time on behalf of the uh, national library. Most of the uh, claimants have approached before the my lord uh, uh, under section thirty four. Thereafter, it has been remanded again to the collector, and collector again dismissed. Okay, all right. Argue on merits. Please, Lord. Hmm. Well, there are two reports. First, are... argue on the maintainability part. But I have because we are raising this issue. But there is a not... See, the whole object of arbitration act is that there should be minimal interference in of the court, and arbitration act itself, nineteen ninety six, itself is a complete code, Please right? Lord. remedy provided therein is to be taken care of the interference of the court in 227 is not permissible that is the whole scheme of the arbitration act in view of the statutory remedy effective remedy available to you how can we maintain 227 petition Only worry is about limitation. That's the only I am thinking. We cannot help what... you, Mr. Counsel. After ten years with lot of efforts, we could could catch hold of you. <laughs> <laughs> I will never run away, my lord. <laughs> to be honest, so... I am the last person to run away, my lord. Not about the counsel. This is not about the counsel. This is about the matter. We could catch hold of the matter, <laughs> not the advocate. But so this was. To be honest, this was being argued by my senior, you know, who has passed away okay. recently, and therefore the difficulty is that I am not not correct. Okay, so let you. let us decide this. To our wisdom, we are deciding it. But if a line to, from my lords in the order, if I could go there and some sort of help from my lords by observing on limitation or something, that would help. Seven, we cannot do this. Then, in that case, if lordships could grant me only two days' time, I could be ready on the matter on every aspect. Because if something comes up and I am not ready, it will look bad on my. Part. We are not entering into merits. We are dismissing it on the ground of maintainability. Invoking and we are in supervisory jurisdiction. We can refuse because is it is an extraordinary jurisdiction. It two twenty seven. The concept of two twenty seven is that it should be like. Court should use two twenty seven sparingly, please, Lord. Very carefully and very in a in a almost in some of the matters, Supreme Court says rarest of rare cases where there is no other forum, I, no other remedy, I, and only two twenty seven is the remedy. With profound respect, my Lord, I would and otherwise two twenty seven is otherwise not maintainable because of the reason that collector is. Who has passed the award? We are not exercising any supervisory jurisdiction over the collector. My reply is there, and there is a judgment which I have next on honourable uh, the Andhra Pradesh Court, wherein also the same view has been taken. Over. The title section is state two twenty six and two twenty seven. Writ though you cannot writ writ court is not the remedy yes. because of availability of section thirty four, which is effective remedy. With profound respect, my lord, the honourable court. I would be in complete soup because I would be left nowhere. If this goes and there is no Mr. Counsel, we are not doing any charity. I understand, no, but some you help because of the you approached us with an open eye. You kept this matter pending for years together with an open eye. So yes. it was the chance which you have taken. No man one is responsible. Over man will go home forever. That would be the only difficulty. 
10 rupees is the consideration whereby the report is of 166 of the adjoining. You are talking about with judgment? Please. Uh, there is a reply. It starts from about page number 87. With my reply, I have an X1 judgment. Andhra Pradesh, 2006 yes. judgment. Yes. Page 82. Page 82. 80? Page 82, Milan, along with the reply. Mm -hmm. That is what the pagination. Second judgment is on page 84 of the Patna I4. No, it's not complete. The complete copy is not there. You are referring to 2006 a Andhra 2006, Pradesh? 2006 Andhra Pradesh. 136. Thank <laughs> Yes. Section Lord uh, Section 3G subsection 6 is very clear. Subject to the provisions of this act, the provisions of Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996 shall apply to every arbitration under this act. Hmm. So once an award is passed. The arbitration act would be applicable. They are they are supposed to go before mm. the uh, district court under section thirty four. Mm. Yes, but I would readily go there. Yes, Lord, I'm sorry to repeat my submission, but Mr. Counsel, it is difficult for us to sorry. give you any kind of liberty or condone the limitation of fourteen years. It's about 14 years. Poor man. So it is not possible. On, uh, I can argue on marriage, but I understand that since it is not maintainable, not she may not like to enter into marriage. But only we cannot I'm, examine the marriage. No, yes. We but in 227, we are not entertaining. Why I'm requesting that some sort of well on, is on the ground that there are there is a valuation report of 166. Instead, 10 rupees is considered of a very far village. That's the only point, uh, my lord, for which this uh, proceedings are being carried for enhancement. Lord, if I if I go there without any sort of help from my lords, then certainly I would fail on limitation itself because it is very specific that beyond a period of thirty days after ninety days gets over. We do not have that magic wand. <laughs> we can condone this for your lordship's sense, my lord. And <laughs> for that is what we well, one line from your lords would help. Help this poor man a lot. One line, if possible, my lord. And when notice was issued, I had appeared, my lord. I suggested not, uh, senior, uh, my, senior my senior was that, appearing. Uh, just passed away, therefore I'm not ready. But so what do you want? Will you I'll argue? Go, I'll go before the concerned court by way of an application under 34. You can go, but we cannot condone limitation. You can explain. No, I will it. make an application. You therefore, make an yes, explanation. Yes, that is what I am requesting. That I may make a separate application along with that application under thirty four. So you want to but withdraw some this sort of relief you from your lordship. Withdraw. You want to withdraw. I withdraw with a view to approach the concerned court. Likhega. 
after a brief submission. What is your good name? Vaibhav N. Shet. Mr. Vaibhav N. N. Shet. Learn advocate appearing for the petitioner. Petitioner career would submit that the petitioner may be permitted to withdraw the instant petition. Filed under Article 226-227 of the Constitution of India to enable him to avail the remedy available under the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996 to challenge the merits of the arbitration award dated 10-9-2009. Passed under Section 3G of the National Highways Act 1956. First up, in view of the above statement, come without entering into the merits of the claim of the petitioner, case of the petitioner, come merits of merits of the the instant petition, comma. We dismiss the petition as withdrawn with the liberty to the petitioner to approach the competent by making an application strictly my making an application in accordance with it. One more line subject to your lordship's appealing that if this pendency may be taken note of there, that would also suffice and help me out in Lord. Perhaps if that is possible, my humble request so that man may not suffer. Just to take into consideration the pendency. The petitioner would be at liberty to explain the delay before the competent court, which shall be dealt with sympathetically. Please, Allah. Please. Grateful to God. Immensely obliged. <laughs> so obliged. Sixty-eight adjourn or request. Sixty-nine, Mr. Dhawal M. Barut. Essence yes, note kare jaga. Mr. A. D. Prajapati appears for the respondent in H. R. And learn A. G. P. for the state response. Yes. Look, uh, Mr. Pragyan Sharma is joining this from B. C. You may be permitted to enter. Yes. Mr. Main piece, sir. Malaj, am I audible, Malaj? Yes. Yes, Malaj. Uh, Malaj, first of all, an apology, Malaj, for not being able to be there physically today, Malaj. No problem. Malaj, yesterday an apology became quite viral of uh, Lanet Senior Counsel Dinesh Devedi, Malaj. And it's not an apology like that, Malaj. No, no. We, we have no idea about that. Yes, yes, Malaj. Hmm. Malaj, he was referring to the color of the hair because of the holy view. For the nine judges before the constitution. Anyway, Malaj. Malaj, this is the matter pertaining to the directions that your lordships was inclined to pass with regard to the implementation of the Child Rights Act, Malaj. Your lordship had passed a slightly detailed order on the 18th of January. Your lordships will just refer to that order. I will start from para 2. Malaj, pursuant to that order, Malaj, the state has filed a reply and we have also filed a counter, Malaj. So I would just wish to point out, Malaj, whatever the gaps are, well, my right. le learned friends on the state side might fulfill those. Malaj, para two, hmm. it is pointed out by Mr. Dhawal Barot, learned advocate appearing for the petitioners, Malaj, it's a small typographical error, that the State Commission for Protection of Child Rights as per the mandate of Section 17, Malachip has that? Hmm. Para two, Malaj. Para two, he appeared on the day and to appear within the name of the road. It's not the road. I thought that was the road. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, Lordship has para 2? Yes, yes. Yes. Well, mandate of Section 17 of the Protection of Child Rights Act 2005. 
is not in existence for a period of about two years. The chairman of the commission has retired in the month of January 2022. As per section 17 to be six members qualifying the criteria therein have to be appointed by the state government to complete the constitution of the committee. Mr. So-and-so learned seeks to submit that some time may be provided to constitute the state commission as per the mandate of the section 17 and 18 or the protection of child rights act. Noticing the same, oh, we directly- paragraph two, which paragraph are you reading? Well, para three. Three? Yes, my lord. Immediately yes. after that. Correct, correct. Yes, yes, please. Take Thank some you. time to constitute the committee as per the mandate of section, oh. okay. section 17 and 18 of the Protection of Child Rights Act. Noticing the same, we direct the state government to take necessary steps to fill all the vacant posts to the members of the staff to bring the commission in place and make it workable. It is further pointed out that the State Commission for Protection of Child Rights under Section 17 and 18 is required to publish an annual report. The annual report is point number two. Now, as far as this is concerned, my lords, the reply of the state government says that four people have been appointed, my lords, in the administrative capacity. But my lords, first of all, the members of the committee and the chairman has to be appointed. And for last two years, my lords, there is the, com the commission is completely dysfunctional. So a, a positive direction probably might be required from your lordship. So, so the chairman is appointed along with members. So on that day, probably you said that members are not there. Correct. Even the chairman was chairman had retired, my lords. The lordship had observed that in the first paragraph itself, my lords, where it was mentioned that for last two years, there is chairman had retired in the month of January 2022. Para 2, my lords. Para 2. Hmm. The right. sentence before the last sentence of chairman the Chairman has retired. Correct. Right. So January. the chairman and six members, today, they in the reply state that four administrative staff have been appointed. No, that is not without uh, being commission being in existence, what would administrative staff do? Correct. I'm so grateful, my lords. So the commission is, my lords, is, is the constitution different. of this commission? My lords? Constitution of this commission is section 17. Section 17, my lords, of be. the Pro Commission for Protection of Child Rights Act 2005. Right. One okay. chairperson and six members, so out of which not, at least... They have not proceeded to constitute this. No, my lords. To my, to my to best of my knowledge, my lords, no. Okay, what is the next issue? Yes, my lords, the next issue is, my lords, the issue with regard to the annual report, my lords, which finds, my lords, reference also in the act, my lords, and my learned friend has, my lords, may kindly read after annual what I have. report of? My lords. Which body? Annual report of which body? Annual report, my lords, under the, again, the Juvenile Justice Act, my lords. Nee, who who is supposed to file annual report? Malats, Malats, the, the state government, Malats. State government is supposed to do that. The child, the the state commission is supposed to conduct conduct an inquiry and audit, Malats. And thereafter, no, an no. annual report is to be no, filed. Annual report is to be filed by whom? By the by the state state child rights protection commission. Okay. The very body which is not there in existence today. So when there is this commission Correct. is not there Correct. in existence, this that, commission is the wheels won't turn, my lord. Your lordship is to be. This is to be, my lord. Okay. So and a specific the commission direction is not in existence since January 2022. Correct, my lord. So there is no question of filing of annual report. Annual report is to be submitted to whom? My lord, that is to be submitted to the state government. And thereafter, the state government is to do a complete audit. Well, it's the, the interesting part of a social audit I mean, or the annual report is NGOs like me, my lords, who are into the issue of child rights, it is like a my lords, it is like a manual for me to try and see point out the various loopholes, my lords, and then request the state to take corrective measures or various other steps, my lords. Give various right. suggestions, etc. All right. Without there being any audit, there cannot be any corrective measure. Absolutely. I'm so grateful. Oh, no. The third issue, my lords, is exactly what your lordship says audit is about the social. Or... Oh. 
Yes, yes, please. Yes, Malaz, about the social audit, which your lordships was kind to point out at para six of that order, Malaz. Yes, hmm. Your lordships have para six. Hmm. Lastly, it was pointed out that the FX court in re-exploitation of ch children in orphanages in the state of Tamil Nadu so and so has emphasized the requirement of social audit in terms of rule 64 of the juvenile justice rules 2007 and the utilization of funds given to the state government and un union territories under the so and so. As per the RTI re reply received on so and so, well, it's no, uh, uh, the Gujarat Chail Protection Society, no social audit has been done so far. Malaz. And in the reply also, Malaz, they clearly admit that there has been not been any social audit. Yes, what is the next point? Yes, well, the third point, Malaz, I wanted to emphasize on is with regard to the child protection policy, Malaz. Lodges will thereafter read further in that para six itself. The FX court. Just a minute, which para? Para 6 itself, Malaz, about okay. seven lines from the bottom of that page. Okay. Hmm. Para 6, Malaz, hmm. where Sampurna Behura is written in bold, right. Malaz, just before that, the Apex Court in its order dated so and so has directed the central government to frame the national child protection policy on the prevention of offenses against children. As per Rule 3 5 of the protection of children from sexual offenses rules, the respective governments, that is the state governments, are required to formulate a child protection policy based on the principles of zero, zero tolerance, etc. So again, even here, the state admits that there is no child protection policy as far as the state government is concerned. Okay. Now, Malad, as far as the first point with regard to the vacancy is concerned, Malad, I had su suggested on the last occasion when I had appeared before your ladyship, Malad, that under the Rule 88 of the Juvenile Justice Act, Malad, as far as the JJPs and CWCs are concerned, the members of these commission, Malad, have to be appointed at least, or the vacancies should be earmarked, and Malad, steps towards filling those vacancies should be taken six months in advance. Right. Right. Well, it's in, in these lines, well, the Bombay High Court in the very same matter in the Sumoto PIL has passed several directions. Well, you know, I have enclosed the judgment of the Bombay High Court if your ladyship wants to see. But otherwise, similar directions that this process should start four months in advance have been passed by the Bombay High Court. Similar directions well, uh, has been passed also by the Karnataka High Court. Now, uh, what is their response? Well, let's kindly see the response. On, on the vacancies, Malad, that is point one, they Where say the that they have, they have filed yes, affidavit, it is page 375. Yes, Malad, 375, this is filed on the 16th of February. Hmm? Malad, their affidavit is of the 16th of February, against which I have filed a counter on the 1st of okay. April. Okay. Yes. yes. What is their response? Malad, yes. as far as Lordship sees the table, which is election R1, Malad, they say as of what now. What type of affidavit are you filing? This is very, very disappointing. The not a single sentence in the affidavit and then, the, then you are filing chart and asking the court to look to the chart without any affidavit. The he is the CEO and director. He doesn't know how to respond to a court. The report has to be in depth. The affidavit also. This is the place. How can you file this affidavit from your own office? Why do you approve this affidavit? Why do you file? You are required to prepare affidavit. There is absolutely no compliance of order dated. 
18 1 2024 passed by us making several queries from the the competent authority a competent officer of women and child development department comma government of gujarat first of the affidavit of the chief executive officer and director social defense comma social justice and empowerment department comma gandhinagar is a sketchy dated dated 16 february 2024 is sketchy and cannot be accepted as a response to the specific queries made by this court in the made by us in the order dated 18 1 2024 first of rejecting the said affidavit we require the competent authority, the competent officer. Who is the competent officer? This director or anyone else? Highest officer? Secretary? There must be some secretary. Chief secretary? Additional chief secretary? Or? Because we require the additional chief secretary, comma, social justice. Women and Child Development Department is not separate from Social Justice and Women Empowerment Department? What is the, which secretary looks after this department? We, we don't know the affidavit. Affidavit is of an incompetent person. He is incompetent. We are asking you whether the social welfare department, it, it includes women and child welfare department or it is separate? Women and child development department, is it separate? It must be. You cannot file affidavit of uh, officer of the social welfare department when we have asked, the, don't you look into, look to the, uh, our orders? Before filing affidavit, we have asked the affidavit of the Secretary Women and Ch Child Development Department. And you have filed affidavit of the Director Social Welfare Department. This is non-compliance of order of this court. Can I we require the Additional Chief Secretary, comma, Women and Child Development Department. Welfare or Development? What is the correct name of Welfare Department to file his personal affidavit on the next date fix, replying to all issues raised by this court in the order dated 18 1 2024, comma, failing which this court may take an adverse action. You check uh, about the, the actu actual and department. department. Women and Child Development, development Department. Development Department. And the officer is additional chief secretary? Or principal secretary. You check on the website. They must be having. Do it right now. Let this matter be posted just after two weeks. 18th. 18th. At 2.30. So grateful, Madhats. And this time you don't seek time. First, let us look to the affidavit. If the Very affidavit well, is satisfactory, then you are supposed to respond. Yes, Madhats. Very well. I'm so grateful. I'll, we'll, we'll, that is I'll why keep we that don't in. give an... We, you saw time. We thought that they, they must have responded to our queries. Correct. I will do that. I'm so sorry. Thank you. 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 Thank you
No. Yes. Serial number 70, uh, Miss Krina Kalal, Nemaika Studio. Kamal yes. Trivedi, Learned Advocate General, and Senior Advocate. With our Mr. Mr. Rao. Lord, uh, as for the last order, we wrote. Mm -hmm. The report was to be circulated amongst the members of the governing council. Mm -hmm. And governing council is to take a call. Mm -hmm. We have compliance with my lord's directions, but we have filed the affidavit at page 104. Hmm. Hmm. Para 2, my lord. I respectfully say that a 24th meeting of Governing Council of Respondent Mobad University was held on 23rd March 2024, which considered the fact finding report circulated to the members of the Governing Council who were present at the meeting, who considered the said report and resorted under. Governing Council is extremely concerned about the welfare of the students of the university, and therefore, the university should take all possible measures to create a safe and secure environment among the students so that they should not feel inhibited to come forward with such experiences. Copy of the confidential report be handed over to the director of the university to seek his response. A high level review committee be constituted comprising of Honorable Ms. Justice Indu Malhotra, former judge, Honorable Supreme Court of India, Sri R. Venkatamani, learned attorney general of India, and Sri M. M. Srivastava, former additional chief secretary, finance department, government of Gujarat, for assessing past five years' performance of the university in the field of academics, administration, finance, as well as safety security aspects of the students for suggesting further corrective measures to be undertaken in this behalf in future four a subcommittee be appointed consisting of Ms. manisha lav kumar shah additional advocate general and senior advocate of the high court of gujarat and mr sri asim pandya senior advocate high court of gujarat for ensuring that immediate corrective measures for reconstitution of a transparent and vigilant uh, ic are put in place which should be sensitive responsible and effective in ensuring that sweet response is given to any allegation like sexual harassment against any of the students, whether from faculty or students of the university with necessary information in that behalf being displayed at various places in the university. One of the members of this council is the Mr. Rawal, Advocate High Court of Gujarat, be nominated to coordinate with both the above referred committees along with the full support from the university for getting all the need food done at an early date. Report of both the opposed high level review committee and subcommittee be placed before the executive committee. It should be council below. And then, with the recommendations, if any, thereon by the Executive Council, the same be placed before the Governing Council for its consideration. The Registrar in general is hereby directed to communicate this decision to GC to the Honorable High Court of Gujarat, etc. Yes. Matter relating to initiation of recruitment process for filling up the post of Registrar of the University, the members present have taken into consideration the fact that presently the Assistant Professor Dr. Jagdish Chandra. Yes has been working as a registrar in charge of the university since 12th March 2019 and that therefore there is a need for filling up the post of registrar of the university as per the UGC and GNLU norms. The council resolved to direct the director to take steps immediately to fill up the post of the registrar of the university. Hmm. So uh, the governing council has not given any time to the director to file his response. It's just one line that we handed over to the director to seek his response. There should be a time bound. I quite say, but uh, uh, perhaps the uh, the contemplation is below to to see see that within fifteen days everything is over. So far as below subcommittee is concerned, below uh, they are visiting in a weekend. Uh, I think my friend uh, Ms. Rabal is going to organize below, and the director has also been conveyed to that effect below. So what is because this? There were allegations against the director as well. Yes, I quite see. Inaction of the director was a little bit large on the face of the record. That was the reason. The way the registrar has behaved. Yes, Bilal. Which is recorded in the order. So the, that it shows that he he was not supposed to do I, I, I this. I quite see. I quite and see. had 
it whatever is done by the registrar if it was not within the knowledge of the director then uh, he was supposed to take action not or if he, it was in his knowledge then he was supposed to respond so this part uh, we are not getting anything no i think we so should so how much time do you need we are we are posting this matter and we would like Fair to enough. have the response Fair enough. we may we may try to see that below the response of the director is there and in the meantime the process because, uh, of appointing regular registrar is already the begun the governing council has uh, asked the director to file his response that Not response sure. is to be given to the governing council Not sure. so there has to be a further meeting of governing council to consider the response of the director that is not uh, coming up coming forth so what do you suggest no, no, why what i suggest is below uh, uh, the director should below uh, within 15 days uh, response should give his response below and then governing council shall take a decision on the response yes sir the... that can be done it may be circulated to all the members and uh, this subcommittee report in the meantime that subcommittee yes, report may also should be not take more than two weeks period even earlier but should not take more so we record your statement that yes, the, yes. all this is completed within 15 days and the governing council will again assemble to take a decision on the subcommittee report so perhaps and the assembly may be in the sense below the the required. very people it is required no i quite see below even even if below it, it issue it, is not such that no, no. you can below sensitivity will be understood appreciated and decision will be taken so it may be done by circular be, resolution below that is your choice i'm yes. not saying that they should be physically present fair enough but there has to be a decision of the governing council a meeting has to be there meeting may be virtual so, so far as below the uh, reports are concerned so meeting has to be there meeting may be virtual yes, we are yes. living in the days of I virtual i quite uh, so let it be confined to the response of the director because uh, the resolution of the gc says so far as report of those two committees are concerned they are to be placed before the executive council at page 105 executive council i think executive council cannot do this no this is about below the uh, because you know executive council will try to study okay all right so let the decision of the executive council come to us i come in so far as the recommendation of the committee is concerned not right and so far as director's response is concerned we'll see that it is circulated by lot so far as members of gc are concerned correct and how much time do you expect do you ask uh, do you ask to fill up this post of the registrar but no uh, i think uh, we are already uh, my instructions are advertised with advertisement is being issued within a day or two give us a time limit so some time may have to be given below for the purpose of inviting applications then the interview you decide we are not fixing time for you you can always we'll, we'll try to do as early as possible and we'll report to the honorable court so that below the Uh, we are we are trying to see the timelines are observed below in the affidavit of the in charge registrar and you are not calling for explanation of the in charge registrar below we wanted to what we discussed was let director's response come first and, and thereafter then we, we may yes okay. in the affidavit of the in charge registrar of the respondent university comma it is stated that and corrective measures to be undertaken for future first of a sub committee has been constituted to suggest immediate corrective measures taking into consideration of the confidential report submitted by the fact finding committee first stop it is further stated therein that as per the resolution of the governing council comma <clears throat> high level review committee the reports of high level review committee comma sub committee and the sub committee have to be placed before the executive council to 
take action on to correct to suggest action on the rec recommendations on their recommendations comma which is to be ultimately placed before the governing council for its recommendation first of the pro the process for recruitment of recruitment to the vacant post of the registrar to the post of registrar vacant since registrar of the university vacant since 12/3/2019 has already been undertaken first of para change on a query made by the court comma mr kamal trivedi learn senior advocate appearing for the respondent university and the and in the capacity of the of the learn advocate general for the state of gujarat comma would submit that the director's response would be and the director's response and the report of sub committee would be received within a period of 15 days from no, from the Okay, okay. No, will be the minutes are may not being signed, may not within a day or two. Within a so we should be giving the report within a day within or a two. further period of fifteen days from today. First off, he further states that the university authority authorities ensure that the executive council would meet. as soon as the report is received to consider the recommendation of the report of the sub committee first off in the same manner the report of the high level high level review committee will also be considered by the executive council within the shortest possible soon after the soon after receipt of the same first off the proceedings the further carry the further proceedings shall be further proceedings in the shape of corrective measures shall be undertaken after the response of the director of the university is received by the governing council under carry under the decision of the governing council first sir para change as regards the process of filling up the post of the registrar of the university comma it is stated it is submitted that the said process shall be completed within a reasonable period of time comma in an expeditious manner post of para change to in view of the above statement made on behalf of the learned senior advocate made by the learned senior advocate appearing on behalf of the university we post the matter on Yes, third week of April. Or two days. So by 29th, the time that we may get through the order. Twenty ninth April. Fair enough. Post the matter on twenty ninth April, twenty twenty four. Comma. Full stop. Correct. The action taken report shall be submitted before the next date fixed. Full stop. We further request the governing council to convene a meeting. to consider the response of the director as per the resolution dated 23/3/2024 before the next date fixed in the matter got it we are supposed to write that it may be virtual meeting i think we are not supposed to it can be arranged Yes. 
you can take the call. Parted matter, serial number 66, Mrs. Sandeep Unjayasara, Mr. Hemang Shah. Uh, on two points, I am submitting judgments only. On legal point, I am arguing. Your Lordship was kind enough to give me time for today. Otherwise, your Lordship was kind enough to give me time for today. Otherwise, on that day, my Lord would have curtailed me and that on that day, Yes, my lord. So, my lord, to answer your lordship's query on two points. First is regarding deemed to be confirmed in the service, my lord. Deemed to query, my lord, your lordship's on uh, to be deemed to be confirmed in the service, and second is the punity uh, termination. Lord. As far as to deem to be confirmed in the service is concerned, my lord, I am relying three uh, judgments of the honorable Supreme Court. Two by five honorable judges of the Supreme Court and one is by seven honorable judges of the Supreme Court. Milord, wherein these are three, three sets of judgments, which is means Milord, three class of judgments, which is prevailing as on date. All judgments are, are of the honorable constitution bench judgment, Milord. As far as first class of judgment is concerned, Milord, wherein the honorable Supreme Court has said that when a specific period is prescribed. As far as the probation is concerned, my lord. But there is no maximum period is there. In that case, my lord, even after completion of specified period of probation, employer has right to continue the employee on a probation even after completion of that period. Say, for example, if I'm on a probation of two years, and the in my appointment order or in statutory rules, if this period is specified that employee would be on a probation of two years, but if there is no word maximum limit is not set for the employer, my lord. So in that case, if I have completed two years of probation, thereafter, my lord, though even if no order regarding extension of probation is also passed, or if it is passed. In that case, my lord, all are valid, my lord. Even though it is not passed implicitly, Honorable Supreme Court has said that it can be said to be order of the extension of probation was passed. And so after expiry of that period, my lord, employee has no right to claim for the confirmation in the service, my lord. That is the first set of judgments, my lord. Yes, my lord. Please, my lord. Then, employees deemed to be probationer my lord employees deemed to be on probation my lord okay. but only my lord may add a word that when the specific period of uh, probation is specified but it is not specified as upper limit or maximum limit my lord when there is no limit my lord it is a kind of a general term my lord okay. that two year probation or and to that extent my lord the first constitution bench judgment of, on this issue my lord of the honorable supreme court is the year 1962 SC 1711, my lord, wherein this is the S. Sukhban Singh versus State of Punjab. Okay, okay, all right. Please. Now, my respectful submission is that this is not applicable in my case because, because, my lord, in this case, my lord, there was no maximum limit was specified. Now, second class of judgment or second set of judgment, my lord, which is applicable in my case. <laughs> Maybe it's time, but it doesn't. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. Now we can go to the Yes. Milo, may I read only relevant portion, Milo? Mm. With your Lordship's permission, may I only read relevant portion? This is not applying in your please, case. Please. Why would you read it? No, no I, I, I would not waste time. Mm. Milo, second judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court Constitution Bench of the five Honorable Judges, Milo, uh, which is, this is, Milo, my submission is that this is directly applicable in my case, Milo, and I covered by this judgment, that is Milord State of Punjab versus Dharam Singh. Milord. What is the principle there? Yes, Milord. Uh, uh, AIR 1968 uh, uh, SC 1210, Milord. Principle laid down by the Honorable Supreme Court in this case is that, Milord, the, the, the respondent in that case, Milord, was initially appointed for one period of one year in 1957, Milord. His probation was completed on, 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 uh, in 19, 1958, Milord. Thereafter, as per the statutory provision therein, Milord, total period of probation, maximum limit was set, and that limit was three years. So it was supposed to end on 1960, 1960 Milord. So Honorable Supreme Court has said that period of probation was completed after one year. It means from 1957 to 1958. To be specific, on 1st October 1957, uh, his probation was started. Then on 1st October 1958, his probation was ended, Milord. Thereafter, there was... Come no... to the uh, yeah. principles. Why yeah. are you Eleven, giving 11 the dates? Para, uh, para two. Why are you giving the dates? We are not concerned with yeah, the dates. Just, just, just oh, okay, Milord. Uh, directly, I'm coming to Para 2, Milord. Uh, with your Lordship's permission, may I read? The High Court found that the respondents were officiating in permanent posts against the permanent vacancy as contemplated by Rule 6 and that on the coming into force on the rules, they may must be deemed to have have held their post under rule so and so on the probation in the first instance for one year from so and so date. The correctness of this finding is not disputed by the appellants. The High Court has also held that. Now, can you come to the rule? Yes, Milord, please. Rule is quoted here. Yes, yes, Milord. Now, read quoted. the rule. Uh, with your Lordship's permission, this, Mary, rule, this rule says, yes, rule three. Yes, Milord. On completion of, please read this. Yes, on the completion of the period of probation, authority competent to make appoint, appointment may confirm the member in his appointment or if his work or conduct during the period of probation has been in his opinion unsatisfactory, he may dispense with his services or may extend his probation period of probation by such period as may deem fit or revert him to his former post if he was promoted from some lower post, Milo, provided that the total period of probation including extension, if any, shall not exceed three years. So, Honorable Supreme Court has said... No, no. Please complete it. Please. Now, next, service spent on... Service not spent on relevant. deputation. So, this rule only says... Please. That uh, on completion of probation period... Please. The authority is competent to make an appointment... Please. Make appointment and confirm the member in his appointment... If his work or conduct during the period of probation is found is has been in his opinion confirmed. No, Milo. during uh, conduct during the period of probation has been the in language of the rule is not correct. No, that, that is elaborated. That's okay. Why we, okay, okay, okay. Please, we, now, sorry. In this rule, please, there is no provision which is there in sub rule five of rule 14 right sub rule 5 rule 14 this says that continuance of a person on probation is not a ground to consider to to treat that the services rendered by him was satisfactory or he has satisfactory completed the period of probation unless there is any specific order or confirmation is passed, right? This clause is not there in this rule. Please, so this service law is the principle of service jurisprudence is that the interpretation of rule is service rule is necessary 
to decide the terms and conditions of the service. Yes. So this condition of service in this case was completely different. We, but with due respect, my lord, I would not. Now, can you read the yes. observation yes, of the please. Supreme I'm Court? I'm grateful, my lord. I'm grateful. Uh, para two, my lord. Para five. Uh, yes, my lord. Para Later five. We come to para five. Please, please, my lord. Para five, my lord. Uh, in present case, rule six sub rule three forbids extension of the period of probation beyond three years, where. As in the present case, the service rule fix a certain period of time beyond which the probationer, probationary period cannot be extended and an employee appointed or promoted to a post on probation is allowed to continue in that post after completion of the maximum period of probation without, without an, an express order of confirmation. confirmation. That is the, and this rule actually reads like this. Yes, but, 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 but this what, rule what? says, see, sub rule three, please. Sub rule three says may confirm the member. Please, Milo. Or if the work is not satisfactory, may dispense with. Please, Milo. But it doesn't talk of any specific order of confirmation. But right. So then this interpretation of this rule is that if the person is continued beyond the period of maximum period of probation, then he is deemed to have been confirmed. Yes, but but on, only my lord my because man, there is no discharge from it, service. It, it, it is answered, my lord. It, that, uh, that's why, my lord, that of the maximum period of probation without an express order of confirmation, he cannot be deemed to be continued in that post as a probationer by implication. The reason is that such an it implication is possible to draw an inference that the employee allowed to, to continue, continue the post on completion of maximum period has of been post. confirmed by implication. Yes. Now this six para is important, my lord. The employee referred to in rule six sub rule one held there there. Mm, held their post in the uh, held held their first post in the first instance on probation for one year commencing from October 1 to 1957 on completion of the one year period of probation of the employee. Four courses of action were open to the appointing authority under Rule 6, Sub Rule 3. The authority as a probationer cannot be deemed to continue as a probationer by the reasons of such an intervention of in such a case, it is permitted to draw the inference that the employee allowed them to move on because they were satisfactory to them to continue. And then in this case, there was nothing against the employee. There was nothing against the employee. In this case, there was nothing against the employee. First, the rule, rule is different. Rule permits the court to draw a conclusion that employee who continued beyond the period of probation is was allowed to continue and he was confirmed, right? First thing. Please. Second thing is that in this case, Please. the Supreme Court doesn't record that there was anything against the employee. Please, Milo. So if there was nothing against the employee, and he has been allowed to continue beyond the maximum period of uh, probation, then uh, there is no harm in treating him to have been confirmed by implication. That, that I try to satisfy on the, this point only with reading this judgment, subsequent ready with next judgment I am citing. So that's why... So I, this I, judgment does not apply no, no. to the fact, to your case, because service rules are different. No, but, but uh, ratio laid down is... Ratio, see... What do you understand by the ratio of the judgment? My lord, the, the ratio of the judgment is not one or two lines. Please, my lord, please. Right. Please, please. Ratio of the judgment has to be drawn in terms of the rule. Please, my lord. Please. So, rule does not provide for any, this situation, which is rule five here, sub rule five here. So, so, so this ratio is not applicable no, why, here. Why the doctrine of precedent would require to be seen? And in that, where case, is the Lord, doctrine of precedent? So that which judgment to be otherwise, my Lord, with due respect, in various judgments, rules may be different, different. Mr. So, Counsel, so the ratio please, is please don't argue like this. No. So, if, this if, is service law, please. Me. This is not a general clauses, right? That similar provisions, similar situation in service law. The first rule of service jur jurisprudence is that the interpretation of everything, the condition of service, everything is guided by the service rules. 
we cannot go beyond the rules we cannot make any interpretation which is not permitted by the rules we are the court of law please madam we are not the legislature please we please. cannot say anything which is not in the rules but but that's that's why i am coming to that point that legislature has kept the lacuna that what should be the period of delay mentioned in sub clause 5 of rule 14 and that's why we my lord we have challenged that wires that is is ultra wires and i am coming on that point and that's why this is required to otherwise i would not have read my lord para 6 my lord the employee referred to in so and so rule held their post in the first instance on probation for one year commencing from so and so date on completing of the one year period of probation of the employee four courses of action were open to the appointing authority rule 6 uh, under under sub rule 3 now this is important my lord the authority could either a extend the yes my lord uh, a i i uh, the authority could either a extend the period of probation provided the total period of probation including extension would exceed 3 years or b revert the employee to his former post if he was promoted from some lower post c dispense with the service if his work or conduct b revert the employee to his former post if he was promoted from the some lower post or c see me lord dispense with his services if his work or conduct during the period of probation was unsatisfactory or d confirm in him in his appointment it could pass one of these orders in respect of the respondents on completion of their one year of probation but the authority allowed them to continue in their post thereafter without passing any order in writing under rule 6 sub rule 3 in the absence of any formal order the question is whether by necessary implication from the true facts of the cases the authority should be presumed to have passed some orders under rule 6 sub rule 3 in respect of the respondents and if so with order should be presumed to have been passed the respondents were not promoted from the lower post and there were to was no question of their revision to the such post as at any time under rule sub rule 3 the initial period of probation of the respondents ended on October one, nineteen fifty-eight, by allowing the respondents to continue in their post thereafter without any express order of confirmation. Now, even there was no order of confirmation, Milo. The competent authority must must be taken to have extended the period of probation up to October one, nineteen sixty, by implication because there was three years maximum limit, Milo. But under the proviso to Rule six, Sub Rule three, the probationary period could not extended beyond October one, nineteen sixty, in view of the proviso. to rule 6 sub rule 3 it is not possible to presume that the competent authority extended the prob probationary period after october 1 1960 or that thereafter the respondents continue to hold their post as probationers immediately upon completion of the extended period of probation on october 1 1960 the appointing authority could dispense with the service of the respondents if their work or conduct during the period of probation was in the opinion of the authority unsatisfactory instead of dispensing with their services on completion of the extended period of probation the authority continue them in their post until sometime in 1963 and follow them to draw annual increment of salary including the increment which fell due on october 1 1962 the rules did not require them to pass any test or to fulfill any other conditions before confirmation my lord with due respect my name was also reflected in the promotion list it is uh, on the record i was twice my lord uh, 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 in the list of the promotion my lord so uh, my sub submission even in this case my lord no test was required so the authority has duly considered myself my lord otherwise i could not have been put in the list of the promotion my lord there was no compelling reason for dispensing with their service and reemploying them as a temporary employee on october 1 1960 because in that case milord case of the uh, employer was that that after 3 years of period when there was no order of confirmation 
then the employee deemed to be uh, put in the temporary service. It was the case. That's why the Honorable Supreme Court has given this reasoning, my Lord. And the High Court rightly refused to draw inference that they were so discharged from the service and re-employed. In these circumstances, the High Court rightly held that the respondents must be deemed to have been confirmed in their post. Though the appointing authority did not pass formal orders of confirmation in writing, my Lord. With due respect, I, I would not read. I, yes, yes, my lord, I, I would not read. I would try to satisfy your lordships that if rule sub rule five of rule 14 would go or if it, it is declared, yes, uh, uh, my lord, uh, for that, my lord, I'm uh, relying uh, on the judgment of the honorable uh, Supreme Court, my lord. Uh, Milord Shiv Kumar Sharma versus Haryana State Electricity Board, Chandigarh and others, Milord 1988 Supplementary Supreme Court Cases, page 669, Milord. Uh, Milord, uh, relevant para is only para uh, 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 seven, Milord. Uh, uh, with your lordships, may I read head not or directly read para seven, which is only one para I want to rely on of, of this judgment. Milo. Para seven, the appellant should have been confirmed on June 10, 1965, on which date he had completed two years of his probationary period. As he has, as has been stated already, the probationary period was not extended. The board has not laid down any guideline for confirmation. There is no rule showing when an officer of the board will be confirmed. While there is some necessity for appointing a person in a government service on probation for a particular period, there may not be any need for confirmation of that officer after completion of the probationary period. If during the period of probation, a government servant is found to be unsuitable, his service may be terminated. On other hand, if he is found to be suitable, he would be allowed to continue in service. The archaic rule of the confirmation still in force gives a scope of executive authority to act arbitrarily or malafide, giving rise to unnecessary litigation. It is high time that the government and other authorities should think over the matter and relieve the government servants of became, becoming victim of arbitrary actions. In this connection, we may refer to the decision in the case of so-and-so, so-and-so for the court observed as follow confirmation is one of the inglorious uncertainties of the government services depending neither on efficiency of the incumbent nor on the availability of substantive vacancies a glaring instance widely known in a part of the our country is of a distinguished member of a judiciary member of the judiciary who was confirmed as a district judge years after he was confirmed as a judge of the High Court. It is on the record of these read petitions that officiating deputy engineer were not confirmed even though substantive vacancies were available in which they could have been confirmed. It shows that confirmation does not have to confirm to any set rules and whether an employee should be confirmed or not depend on the sweet will and pleasure of the government, my lord. With due respect, my lord, that it is not in dispute, my lord, that earlier at initial period of my service my lord my acr was not satisfactory my lord that that i can not argue otherwise because it is on record for the sake of argument let assume that even in my rejoinder i have pointed out my lord it was without authority and jurisdiction but for for a sake of argument my lord let assume as it is but even then a chance was given to me to extend my promotion for one year after uh, my completion of initial two year of probation, my lord. So in that, my lord, up to 2015 to 60, the performance was improved. And thereafter, my lord, admittedly, my lord may see the re records. After 2017, my lord, there is nothing against me, my lord. Yeah. Please, my lord. Please, my lord. But in your case, it is not the case where your services were satisfactory people were doing. Right? 
even according to your stigma has been continued beyond this probation period of two years. But somehow, some disturbance was granted to you. In those next two years also, you did not show any improvement. Rather, the reports of the district judge were contrary to that not fit. In spite of that, for whatever happened, you, your period of probation was extended from time to time. But the rule prohibits any condemnation other than the order of condemnation. Yes, so there has to be an express order of condemnation that now the services are satisfactory. Please, Please, there was no satisfaction. And just because you continue, Please, that does not give you any right to say that you, your services ought to have been confirmed or you were required, you were deemed to be confirmed. Right? And then for these years, you conveniently kept quiet. You never raised any voice till your services were dispensed. Then that why were you being allowed, not confirmed that the room says so, and you put your services well within your knowledge that you were according to you to your position. You have been confirmed, but there was no confirmation. You kept quiet conveniently. And then when your when ultimately at the end of the probation, extended period of probation, you were not granted further extension. Then you came to this court, right? So your contention is that your services ought to have been confirmed because of the reports, which according to you are good reports, is nowhere because you never raised this issue. You never came to the court saying that, no, no, see, I am a good employee. I am, I am being, a, and there is no malafide. Rather, it seems otherwise. Somehow you managed to continue on probation. No. We... There is no malafide against anyone. Where is the question of malafides? No, no, my, my lord. With due respect, I'm, I'm. Uh, this judgment only proceeds on malafides. I, I, I would like to answer your lord. So they very, repeated, my... repeated reports are there. Those reports are against you. In spite that you were permitted to continue, and a period was extended. So by extension of period of probation, you do not have a right, or even no, there was no legitimate expectation to you that your services would be confirmed or you are working in a, on a confirmed post or you are in a confirmed capacity. So you managed it, no. right? So for some years, you have been able to manage it. Ultimately, you lost that management string and you got out. No, no, my Lord, with due respect, it is not at all possible and it was not done in that manner. But yes, my Lord is true that if, say, for example, uh, otherwise, I... otherwise, if you are true to your work and there was no complaint against you, please, no. they, if the you were straight, you would have been the first person to come to the court saying that my probation has been extended beyond the period of uh, four years without passing any order of confirmation. There is nothing against me. Now, I, I cannot be kept on probation beyond this period. Now they have to take a call. True, true my lord. I, I ought to have come, my lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This prejudice, now you cannot argue. No, 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 to answer your lordship's query, true, my lord. I ought to have come, my lord. But in, according to me, my lord, my limited... So lord, what prohibited... History of the... No. History of what, the... What, pro come, no, lord, what prohibited you lord. to come to the court is no. your own reports. You knew that you are not fit. You knew that your reports are against you. No, it, and still you were continuing. So you did not have that courage to come to the court on the judicial side to say that, look, I am being victimized here. My Lord is true. As an officer of court, my first query was that 
her answer was that as a judicial discipline no one would come against where is the, the question against judicial discipline no would where is the, where is the question of, there, Milo, no sorry with, with please Milo, don't say we are not the hitlers no 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 don't no, don't no, create contrary this Milo, my lord is everyone is coming to the court and for, we are deciding cases yes in those absolutely. matters and there are cases which are which goes in favor of the employees the judicial officers so don't say that don't judicial officer no. A dare to come to the court. No, the, the reason is only my lord. They are afraid to come because otherwise my lord is giving me special Mr. hearing. Counsel, lord. This afraid to come is because of your own reports, not because of any other reason. You were afraid. This is what I am. We are saying. Because, you were afraid be, because you knew that you are not. You no, do no, not. My lord, report, because my lord, you to, cannot dispute the reports, no, no, Mr. Counsel. No, I am not. All dispute. reports are uh, are uh, to, uh, given to you. But but my lord, to, you never challenged any report. No, but it, it it is in my favor to that extent, my lord. My lord, to. You may read them in your favor, but none of the reports are in your favor. No, that, that's why I, I will leave to these honorable court and your lordships. I have complete faith, my lord. What I try to submit that my lord may interpret that there are, my lord, two two things that were uh, uh, considered by the Mr. Counsel. Why we are saying so? Please, me. because on the basis of this judgment, Shiv Kumar Sharma. Please, my lord. When you are arguing that you have been victimized, please, my lord. That is why we are saying. Please, please. Otherwise, we would not have said. This is not a case of victimization. You are not pleading. That case proceeds on confirmation. Years together, board continued. There was no vacancy, not confirmed. That was the reason. Here, reports were there. Reports were considered in the meeting. In the meeting, you were permitted to continue on probation. And you never said that the reports are such that I should be confirmed. And I'm being victimized. But but Milord, after 2016, Milord, there was no ACR was adverse, Milord. Uh, Mr. Mr. Counsel. Milord, it is clearly mentioned everything is fair, Milord. It's it's not fair. We don't want fair. Fair. You yourself said fair. Mr. Counsel, it's not necessary that it should be adverse. The probation, confirmation of probation requires satisfaction. But satisfaction goes beyond this fair and it average comes from entire assessment so one was ser so, was so the was authority the so the authority the competent authority of the high court please no. on overall assessment of your performance over the period of year found that in spite of sufficient time granted to you you are not you have not been they have not been able to draw any satisfaction to confirm you and since you see they no order of confirmation could be passed because there was no satisfaction there is no reason to say that we are not satisfied so you are not entitled for confirmation that is not needed so there was no confirmation then the probation period came to an end so the authority decided not to continue you in service. That's all. Milord, if it was the case, I would not have argued. This is the only case. Milord, in last six years, my performance was not even excess. It is on record, Milord. That's why with due respect, if it was, my Lord has rightly said, if Mr. My... Counsel, we are looking to ACR. Ye numbers are not no, going even to help. ACR, Milord. Yes. After 18 it was no ACR, Milord. It is admitted position by the Learned Registrar General, Milord. That's why I'm, I am. I try to satisfy and convince your lordships. It is not there. So, so my respectful submission. What is not there? ACR is not there. Of which year? If, last four years, Milord. Be pleased to see. That, that's why. That's why. Otherwise, I could not have. On that point, I try to satisfy your lordships. That once there was there no ACRs for last four years, Milord. How last we, four year means means Milord uh, to be specific just just me uh, give give the dates Milord. Uh, may I just uh, assess my no. May I just answer from which date it is not two seventy two. It is up to 2018, Milord. Last page number 281. After two, 2018, there, there is no SCR, Milord. Admitted, Milord. And, and last three years, SCR, all, all are failed. 
fail. Even if average of the C, the law is that if if one or two years ACR is not there, average ACR is to be taken exactly. into consideration. No, and so if we so consider, yeah. so if we con con consider average ACR, even then there is no then, improvement. No, then, then only, only in that case, you know, what happened? Not two seventy two. Yes, two seventy two. This gives the entire gist of. This is the entire service record. L Repeated observations, knowledge of law and procedure poor. For initial and two year quality, quality of judgment average exactly. require improvement. What else we want? For initial two year only. Hey, this is not kind of words would no, Mr. Used. Counsel. This is from 2014 to 15. And then 15, 15 Again, a needs improvement, Again, needs improvement. much improvement. True, up to six. Has million. scope for improvement. Needs to update herself in all aspects. Then 16, 15, 16. Needs much improvement. Hostile with colleagues. Needs much improvement. Very weak in basic procedures of law. Need to be willing to acquire law and procedure. Why would we keep, we keep such an officer? No, after 17. 16 beautiful also. Beautiful institute. Okay, okay, all right. Now, now continue. Now finish it off. So, uh, my respectful submission is that after 16, Milord, from or to be specific, okay, okay, okay. from 17, okay. Milord, now, now you come okay. to the main point. Now, second point is that to access my satisfaction, Milord, the, uh, uh, they have seen the disposal work, Milord, that uh, what is my disposal work? It is always, Milord, outstanding and excellent, Milord. Be Mr. Pleased. Mr. Counsel, can you show what, what have you disposed of? Applications. No. Yes. Milord. Disposal of application is also number. No, but if, if, if it was so, otherwise I could not have given Mr. out. Mr. Mr. Counsel, this, this is only game of number. No. Disposal is number game. Judges are Milord, known by their judgment. I would have no, given we, we know how we assess. Milord, what? Mm. Mm. You know, if it is on record. There are comments of it, PDJ, that you are lacking in knowledge of law. What else we need? You know, it was for initial. Mr. Counsel, there is no Mr. Counsel. Please Mr. don't argue this. No, your know. ACRs are before us. It is for Please now come to your last argument. You have deliberated a lot on the issue. So, so Milord, now uh, be pleased to see 257E, Milord. Now you finish it off. We have to hear the other side but, as well. But I, I am. Uh, okay. that, I am you on that you are you coming back to the same position no, no, you have argued I, 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 already. No, no, I, I, now I come to the to last point which you have argued. That the you have yes. given two types of judgment. Third judgment. Now come to the next judgment. Third judgment is the of honorable uh, that you have given. Now come to the next judgment. No, uh, that third judgment I have not. Forgot. This is the Samshar Singh versus State of Punjab, Milo. This is the judgment of the seven honorable judges of the Supreme Court, Milord Constitution Bench Judgment, wherein the earlier view that is which uh, I, I fall in the category uh, uh, that, that is Milord uh, confirmed by the honorable seven judges. So whatever the ratio was laid down in Milord Dharam Singh, Milord, it is confirmed by way of this judgment, Milord. Even in this judgment, Milord, it has been held. Dharam Singh is not applicable to you. Deemed confirmation is not applicable in your case because of the reading of the rule. So it, it, now, now can you read the relevant paragraphs? Yes, Milord. Of uh, this judgment, sixty-eight, Milord, please. The appellant Ishwar Chand Agarwal contended that the com he completed his initial period of two years probation on so and so date, and the maximum period of three years probation on so and so date. And by reasons of the fact that he continued in service after the expiry of the maximum period of probation, he became confirmed. The appellant also contended that he had a right to be confirmed and there was a permanent vacancy in the cadre of the service of, on so-and-so date and the same should have been allotted to him. Rule so-and-so states that every subordinate judge in the first instance be appointed on a probation of two years 
but this period may be extended from time to time expressly or impliedly so that the total period of probation including extension if any if any does not exceed 3 years the explanation to rule 7 sub rule 1 is that the period of probation shall be deemed to have been extended if subordinate judge is not confirmed on the expiry of his period now for a moment milord we i would like to pause here there is was explicit provision the explicit provision was that milord that that honorable uh, constitution bench has said that it can be said a negative clause the negative clause was that that if is that the period of probation shall be deemed to have been extended if a sub subordinate judge is not confirmed on the expiry of period milord in as far as my case is concerned milord there was no any no negative pro provision that if sat if uh, my service was not uh, uh, if confirmation order was not issued then it is deemed to be extended it is not that contrary to that milord here in my case milord as per rule 14 sub rule 1 initial 2 year period milord then as per sub rule 3 rule 14 of our uh, rules of 2005 there are two years maximum limit is there so there was no provision at all to extend the period of probation so to in the name of the probation my service cannot be terminated as simply sitter even as a last two years milord last probation was extended in year of 2020 milord my service was terminated on 2022 so to just to terminate my service they have taken the use of the, the, the probation that let the probation be extended for two years. First, they have decided to terminate my services, employer or uh, um, uh, appointing authorities. That is with due respect, it is not permissible. If at that time, if they, they would have seen my performance or if it was on the base of my performance and would have arrived to the conclusion that yes, that your performance is not satisfactory and that's why we are terminating services. That would have been other, an other case. But here, without accessing my suitability, it is not permissible. And that's why, my lord, here, with due respect, the article 311 would hit subclause 2 of article 311. And if my service was not, if, if I was not suitable, they ought to have made departmental inquiry against me, my lord. Earlier, they have tried to make the departmental inquiry. They could not succeed. succeed. So to use the shortcut, my lord, with due respect, my service could not be terminated, even in the name of simplicity. Now, as far as the third, uh, uh, second argument on the lens of the my why my terminations are punitive, Miller, because some complaints which is admitted on page number 272, there are four types of complaint against me as per the appointing authority, Miller. Admittedly, in the rejoinder, they've said, that we have considered the complaints against you. So no issue, my lord. If really there are complaints, appointing authority can consider the complaints. But in that case, where is the opportunity of hearing to me, my lord? Where is the principles of natural justice? It, it was not at all followed, my lord. If there are some complaints behind my back, my lord, to be specific in that my particular districts, I have passed some orders in the Arms Act wherein the superintendents of police notice was issued to them, even to the collector, non bailable warrant was issued or probably bailable warrant was issued by me, my lord. In that case, now as on today, I learned that that collector has been suspended or arrested by CBI and ED in that arms act, my lord. So I have acted without fear and favor, my lord. I have done my judicial duty, my lord. And there were so many that SP, collector, uh, DIG, all the persons were behind me, my lord. And that's why they have moved complaint before this honorable court on administrative side. That is on record by, I, I was not aware, my lord. Otherwise, I could have defended that they were, why they are complaining against me, my lord. They have made complaints behind my back that complaints were entertained by the appointing authority. And based on that complaints, how fair it is, my lord, to terminate my service, my lord. Be pleased to see page number 272, my lord. And even, my lord, when, when this, in this matter, service matter, my lord, initially notice was issued by this honorable court. This honorable court, court was kind enough to issue notice and rule, my lord. So, so thereafter, when the amendment is moved to challenge sub rule 5 of rule 14, as soon as that amendment is moved and is granted by this honorable court, my lord, to derail my this, this, this litigation, a, a one affair which was registered in 2021, wherein they became active police authorities and they tried to arrest me or to try to 
uh, show that that if if say for example that's why i had moved that to anticipatory bail applications for example rightly or wrongly if i would have arrested at that time my lord what i would even have no leg to stand before your lordships if if a person who is arrested how could i have argued before your lordships to be a judicial officer my lord i may be reinstated or not reinstated uh, that that is i mean your lordships hand but my lord i have always maintain the integrity or people's faith is in the judiciary my lord so this with same faith my lord as a citizen i am before your lordships so my submission is that even say for example my lord if there are really serious complaints against me but be pleased to see complaints by to whom my lord those against whom as a judicial officer i have passed the orders even 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 my lord honorable this honorable court high court has portion set aside that fir based on that allegations mr r you were arguing on a stigma please please, please argue on yes. stigma uh, be please to see uh, milord uh, 272 page number yes yes please sir uh, i am with your lordship uh, page 272 column number 4 milord there are total four complaints please mr counts yes please vigilant complaints departmental inquiry and then administrative complaints now re relevant portion is milord uh, uh, 274 milord that that only i want to point out your lordships milord otherwise i would not and uh, milord uh, column number 4 uh, uh, para 3 milord application dated 99 march 2020 milord so with due respect after 6th march my probation was never extended because the appointing authority could have find my service satisfactory so it was not extended but be pleased to see this was the application milor see be pleased to see who has moved this application mr mahendra bagadia superintendent of police milor now this is the person against whom i have he passed some judicial orders now 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 next page milor page number 4 milor ne next 275 milor were in the confidential letter dated 8 6 and 12 6 2020 respectively of principal district so and so forwarding there with confidential letter dated so and so and so and so this is the important of mr so and so third additional session judge of so and so regarding the conduct of so and so so and so milord so administrative side behind my back if they are making some complaints milord i had no opportunities to answer that complaints even i was not at all aware about these complaints once this reply is filed by the learned registrar general of the high court i came to know that these are the complaints against me my lord i have requested my employer that be pleased to provide me the copies of complaint so that i can defend myself my lord even during pendency of petition that i have my request ha had been denied my lord my lord that's why also i had requested before your lordship that to be pleased to provide this material so that if there are complaints i can what i need my lord only that principles of natural justice may be follow even my lord i am ready to give under mr counsel please be, because this is the mr counsel these are the foundations please, of my order. please can you come to the uh, law so so in the case so law on this is, is the honorable supreme court in the matter of nobody has Uh, terminated your services because of the complaint there is no order in the um, there is no mention in the order no st stigma is attached to the order no. and this is the law for probation there may be complaints employer may decide not to continue with the departmental inquiry not to conduct an inquiry on overall assessment of the work and performance of you and there were allegations against you so they they decided not to confirm you no, that's all no due respect my lord that's why these honorable court has come on the issue of yes, stigma on, on law point straight yes, away yes, come yes, to yes, the yes, law point yes on law point my lord the honorable court the law? has said that when the, when we are not speaking anything you continue to repeat the same no, thing no, no, again and again no, no, my lord that that the to the every the time you are repeating the no, same no, thing no my lord this yeah. is my question of career and you are I, just changing the words and sentences no. and then saying the same thing again no, and again no, no. you are not coming to the point no, the point is that my lord though the order of we termination is speak but we are forced to speak no no my lord my lord has given patient hearing i can
um, Lord, for that stigmatic uh, uh, punity order, I am relying the Honorable Supreme Court judgment, uh, 1984, uh, Volume 2, SCC, page 369, wherein the Honorable Court has, the Supreme Court has, Honorable Supreme Court has said that co Honorable Court can Uh, 1984, Volume 2, SCC, page 369, Milord, wherein the Honorable Court, 369, Milord, when the on, wherein Honorable Supreme Court has uh, said that the though the order of termination is drafted innocuously, Milord, the Honorable Court has power to leave the veil and see the actual reason. Yes, that's why I'm, I, yes, Milord. And even Milord, again, Milord, that I, again I said that I may be reinstated, may not be, but I would not make allegations against what was their internal politics. But so, no, that's why I'm saying I would not do. Yes, Milord, I, I have not done till now. I, I would, please, Milord. Yes, so wherein the, when real foundation of the order of discharge of a petitioner from service was alleged complaint against the petitioner, same in, in my case, Milord. The impune order would amount to termination of service by way of punishment, Milord. And in that case, Milord, in absence of any inquiry held, Milord, in accordance with Article 311, subclause 2 of the Constitution of India, Milord, that, that impune order cannot sustain, Milord, because here, the foundation for my termination was the complaints against me, which was moved by the superintendent of police, Milord, which was moved by some other persons, Milord, that complaints were never provided to me. And those are the real foundation. Okay. I, please, 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 Milord. Now, now, Milord. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 Milord. Now, now, uh, on on uh, last point, Milord, that uh, when there is a lacuna in the statutory rules, if if uh, uh, if, if Milord, that Shiv Kumar Sharma judgment may be read with uh, rule four sub rule three, Milord, that only I would read, and then I would come on the re reasonable delay part. Then I I would not take much time, Milord. <coughs> Milord, sub rule three uh, uh, of rule 14 says that if a person is not suitable, then his service would be terminated, Milord. Now, after of initial two plus two years of probation, my service were never terminated, Milord. So in that case, Milord, if my service was not terminated, if we read with this honorable Supreme Court judgment, Milord, then in that case, my service was suitable that so your lordship has to with due respect my lord may adjudicate that whether what is the actual interpretation whether my service was satisfactory or was not satisfactory because my service was not terminated after end of probation period the interpretation of rule is that my service was satisfactory my lord and that's why on basis of that read with there were no last four years ACR read with my disposal work which, which was excellent and outstanding since beginning so all were the parameters so whether my service is satisfactory or not cannot be decided on single parameters my lord so there are various parameters which were not decided for last four years as far as ser concerned as far as disposal is concerned it was in my favor so looking into all this my lord authority ought to have issued me the confirmation order they have not issued then i may be deemed to be confirmed in the service or in worst case, my lord, say for example, my lord may come to the conclusion that I, I, I am not deemed to be confirmed in the service. Then this is the important point and I am pressing before your lordships to adjudicate that even the, if then I am not even a probationer, my lord. So say for example, if, if I am confirmed, then I may get the benefits of promotion and a higher increment and everything, my lord. So if I am not getting that benefits after maximum limit of probation and completion of that period, my lord, and then even I, I, I cannot be treated as a probationer. So if I cannot be treated as a probationer, in the name of probation, my service cannot be terminated. If, if authority wish to do or 
do investigation or do proceedings against me let that departmental inquiry against me may be initiated me lord that is not done in in so if it was done and if by way of this if by way of departmental inquiry if this was done then then it would have been different case me lord it is not done in this case me lord now then me lord the honorable supreme court has said that article 235 may be read me lord that with your lordship's permission uh, I, this is the regarding the authority me lord article 235 of the constitution of india i am relying on this article with your lordship's permission may I read, that control over subordinate courts the control over district court and court subordinate there to including the posting and promotion of and the grant of leave to person belonging to the judicial service of a state and holding any post inferior to the post of district judge shall be vested in the high court but nothing in this article shall be construed as taking away from any such person any right of appeal which he may have under the law regulating the conditions of his service or as authorizing the high court to deal with him otherwise than in accordance with the conditions of his service prescribed under such law. Milo read with article 229 and read with the honorable Supreme Court judgment in the state of Uttar Pradesh versus Batuk Dev Pati Tripathi, Milo 1978 volume 2 SCC 102, Milo. Therein there were the rules, my lord, that as per the rules, a full court, uh, uh, my lord, 1978 to SCC uh, 102, my lord. <coughs> relevant, relevant para is para 14 to para 18, my lord. <coughs> my lord, as per this, my lord, there were the rules wherein the, the standing committee or, or particular executive committee or a committee of two, three honorable judges were empowered to take particular decision. With due respect, my lord, as far as the present case is concerned, my lord, the, the standing committee, that decision ought to have been taken by the full court, my lord. Even such rules are in the honorable Chhattisgarh High Court, my lord. So, so here, these decisions were not taken. And even probably your lordships has pointed out that uh, last uh, three or four that SCR is not there, but is this decision is not taken. If I could correctly uh, uh, point out that uh, is not taken by the uh, standing committee to extend my my probation, my lord, last three to four years because I have requested this honorable court to provide that copies and that is not with us. So I I am not aware, my lord, that actually who are the authority who has taken the decision. And last point on which, my lord, I want to rely is the regarding the delay, my lord, that. Uh, uh, for that, my lord, as far as the aspects of delay is concerned, my lord, uh, I am relying on the North Eastern Chemicals Industries Limited versus Ashok Paper Mills, my lord, 2023, SCC Online, SC 1649, my lord, wherein uh, relevant para is para 47, my lord. Be pleased to see that only I want to hear. Para 47, my lord. That in state of Punjab versus Patinda District Cooperative Milk Producer Union, this court observed that it is tried that if no period of limitation has been prescribed, statutory authority must exercise its jurisdictions within a reasonable period. What, however, shall be the reasonable period would depend upon the What, however, shall be the reasonable period would depend upon the nature of the statute, rights and liabilities thereunder, and the other relevant factors. The principle stands reiterated in so and so. In Jagdish versus so and so, this honorable court referred to a number of decisions to reiterate that where the statute in question does not prescribe a limitation, the rights conferred therein must be exercised within reasonable time. Below. Then these aspects of reasonable time was recently discussed by these court in so-and-so, so-and-so, having referred a three-bench judge bench decision in so-and-so, stating that the concept is to be applied and judges in each case as per its own peculiar facts. So with due list, respect, my lord, the statutory authority has not prescribed any limit in sub-rule 5 of rule 14. Say, they have said only that if there is any delay, then, then 
uh, it would be not a ground to be a deemed to be confirming service milord true on on uh, using this close milord i cannot say say for example if there were three months delay or six months delay then i cannot claim and come before your lordships to say that uh, i i may be deemed to be confirming the service but the purpose and intention of legislature was that, say, for example, in promotion, if there is some examination, any result is awaiting because of even uh, appointing authority may take some time to access my suitability after expiry of that period, for example, three year or six months, that is every time happen in my case, Milo. At the last day of expiry of my ex uh, uh, period of probation, it was not extended immediately. It was ex extended retrospectively after six months, seven months. So we can understand, my lord. There, there are some uh, workload and administrative. It is not possible. So to to that extent, to benefit the employer, that if it is decision is not taken at the end of the last day of the expiry of probation period, you cannot claim that deemed to be confirmed. So the reasonable period. So that's why. Oh, 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 only two minutes, Milo. Only two minutes. So now uh, uh, to to say this that the rule, my submission, respectful submission is sub rule five of rule fourteen is manifest arbitrary because it gives sub rule five of rule fourteen is manifest arbitrary because it gives power to the employer to continue employee on a probation period for infinite years. This was not at all aim and object of the Rule 14. Because there is maximum limit is prescribed in the rules that what should be the maximum period of probation, my lord. And, and, and that's why, my lord, the sub rule 5 of rule 14 is contrary to sub rule 1 and sub rule 3 of rule 14, my lord. Because on one hand, the lawmaker is saying that your probation would be 2 year plus 2 year. On other hand, lawmaker, are give, lawmaker is giving a manifest arbitrary power to the appointing authority to extend period of probation for n number of years. That is not permissible in the law. And when the word is used, any delay, but if six months or one year, if limit is not prescribed, in that case, your lordships may be pleased to interpret that, my lord, that what should be the actual uh, period that reasonable six months or one year can be uh, considered, but not more than that, my lord. At least here in, in this case, my lord, two plus two was initial and two year maximum. So four year was total period. So even delay was more than four years. So that is not at all permissible, my lord. And second, I'm praying or relying on the harmonious construction of the rules, my lord. That rule be, should be read as it is, my lord. It should be read in its meaning that so that what is the actual aim and object of particular statute, my lord. It, it, it cannot be read as isolated or particularly that this is the rule. Milord, so it should be read in consonance with rule, rule 5, maybe read with in consonance with sub rule 1, with sub rule 3, Milord. And, and that's why, Milord, if it would have been read with these two rules, Milord, uh, then, then uh, my service could not have been terminated on the ground of the uh, probation, Milord. Uh, that is my submission and last judgment that I, I want to point out, Milord. Uh, that, yes, one more thing that uh, none of the order wherein uh, order uh, reasons are recorded by the uh, appointing authority to extend my probation. That is not possible. And last, only one ground I want to read that it is settled position of law that interpretation must depend on the text and context. They are basis, which is Milord ground R in my petition, basis on uh, of interpretation. If the text is a texture, context is what gives the colors. Neither can be ignored. Both are important. The interpretation is best which makes the textual interpretation match the contextual. A statute is best interpreted when we know why it was enacted. With this knowledge, the statute must be read first as a whole and then section by section, close by close, phrase by phrase, and word by word. If statute is looked at 
in the context of its enactment with the glasses of the statute maker provided by such context it's a scheme the sections clauses phrases and words may take color and appear different than when the statute is look at without the glasses provided by the context with these glasses we must look at the act as a whole and discover what each section each clause each phrase and each word is meant and designed to say as to fit into the scheme of this entire act no part of a statute and no word of a statute can be construed in isolation statutes have to be construed so that every word has a place and everything is in its place and last principle my lord i want to rely that is the uh, particular doctrine or uh, principle of the contra preferentum very very in my lord if some clauses are contrary to each other in that case my lord benefit would be to the person who is at receiving it and not a person who has drafted the rules my lord now as far as my case is concerned my lord rules are drafted for the uh, employer my lord so in that there is a conflict my lord conflict in the clause on one hand 2 plus 2 years probation on another another hand giving infinite years or power or uh, to extend my probations my lord and uh, last if your lordships uh, permit me only just uh, that i have relied on first day of argument my lord that uh, shaira bano versus union of india 2017 uh, volume 9 scc 1 wherein the honorable supreme court has said that if any clause or power is manifest arbitrary it is in violation of article 14 milord so just to conclude uh, my my arguments milord uh, that uh, total three parameters were considered to check my suitability one was the acr second was the uh, my disposal work and third was the complaints <coughs> that acr uh, complaints and uh, uh, disposal work me lord with as per my submission and as per record of this file me lord there were no any adverse entry against me after 2017 every every report was fair that i will leave to this honorable court whether to adjudicate that it is satisfactory or not so second is the disposal work it is excellent and outstanding throughout and third is the complaints that complaints were the base and foundation to terminate my services if i would have been given the opportunity then my service could not have been terminated and and only the last one i am not i would not read but the order of this honorable court uh, that uh, this honorable court may be just uh, consider it uh, which is on uh, page number uh, uh, to to it starts from uh, 260 there are duplication of pages with your lordship's permission i would correct that pages milon where in this honorable court we a order dated 12 2019 uh, pass in criminal miscellaneous application number 16394 of 16 uh, that entire controversy was were highlighted that on on very small issues the entire fir was filed and uh, because of that internal politics of the uh, judicial officer it is mentioned there and another criminal miscellaneous similar order is criminal miscellaneous application number 16397 of 16 and same order date is same 122019 by passed by this honorable court milo wherein this honorable court was kind enough to quash fir so this is the base and based on this milo only the questions was of the order was passed as a by me as a judicial officer and in that regard milo the allegation was of the 200 rupees misappropriation but this it was not true milo it was the order pass in the lokadal uh, sorry uh, that uh, one in charge uh, ju learned judicial officer was not present that work was transferred to me i have done my judicial duty thereafter the computer operator was not there he said that i cannot uh, register the case because of uh, uh, an another operator was not there and as, as the admission matter it was not numbered and that's why my lord another learned uh, judge who uh, has not signed the particular thing and that's why order was not signed by me so that was hurdles against me milord to not sign the order and to with this vindictive nature milord immediately even in in my department inquiry it was confessed by the police inspector that under the pressure of then learned pdj uh, he has threatened that police officer that i would initiate contempt against you so immediately that's why that police officer has filed the fir otherwise milord 
we understand as a administrative and judicial work there are some typographical error and everything milor no one would go hurriedly this and even in that case milor four witnesses were examined by the police on same day milor they have said that no we have paid only 50 rupees fine only the typographical error was that 100 rupees fine was mentioned later on it was corrected but hurriedly this fir was filed the person who was in custody of nazir that said that no i have only received uh, amount as per 50 rupees because order was of the 50 rupees so not just 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 to Why? only to say that no 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 let, let i i finish it no. only to say that on this small issue my lord this entire four years inquiry was please and i i am grateful my lord has given enough time to